There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Apple bogies. Apple bogies. Apple bogies, everybody. Sorry about that. How are we all doing? How are we all doing? I was not muted at all, Rob. It's just my mixing software being a douche as usual. Um, so, yeah. Did we all get to see the phalanx and the wonderful galactic challenge on me that we are getting? Isn't that amazing? Galactic challenge on me? If you haven't already, make sure you go over to YouTube and watch my uh, kit reveal video. Because uh, things are about to get lit. It's a scribble. It is indeed. How you doing, one prep? Thank you, buddy. I'm doing great, Castro. How are you doing? Generic insults. I have to assume they meant to post the kit reveal on April 5th. <laughs> it's a delayed April 1st post. Well, maybe just that one bit about the Galactic Challenge on me. Maybe just that one bit. Never know. Ah, good stuff. Good stuff. What is going on here? I can't even read that. My chat is being a bit of a douche. Michael Pro would love a roster review. Love the content. Thank you so much, Mike. It's not quite open yet. It's not quite open yet. Roster reviews closed. I'll let you know when it's open, buddy, but I do very much appreciate the 499. I will put you on a uh, roster review very shortly. We've actually changed the way we're doing this, guys. This is this is big changes to how we're doing roster reviews, and I'm very happy for it. So essentially, what I have done now is I have created a Google form for people to request their roster reviews. That means you go in, you fill out this Google form, you say, this is my ally code, this is how I want my roster reviewed, um, have I donated? Yes or no. And it'll automatically filter by order all by itself into a list for me to review. So I have to do nothing. You guys just have to fill out a form and hit send. That's as simple as it gets, ladies and gentlemen. And I am so stoked to actually have it done. So everybody, if you're going to want to have a Ross review, I will be linking that later. OK, I will be linking that later. So thank you, Michael. Appreciate you, dude. I'm going to be very, very excited for that. Why is Tuesday tantalizing? Oh, because it's so juicy. My view on GC Omi. Yeah, no. Agreed, one prep. Hey, beloved one. How you doing today? What's going on, Hod Hod? How you doing today? I'm also timing the roster reviews. Roster reviews are going to be 10 minutes long now, guys. That way, we should be able to get through people's roster reviews. So I've, I'm very sorry. All the time when I do this, what happens inadvertently is that, you know, people request roster reviews and I never get round to it. So there's going to be an on-screen timer. It's going to be an on-screen timer, much like this. Look, I'll show you. Look, I'll be like, boop. You see an on-screen timer over there? Isn't it fantastic? And I'll be counting down. Everybody will get 10 minutes because I have a way of waffling. So I'm very much uh, changing the way that it's done. How are we doing, Twist? You okay, buddy? How are we doing? How many people are going to ignore it and post their codes anyway? Um, many, many people are going to ignore it. But I am going to pin the link to the Google form in the chat. So if you if you just like, I, I know I'm going to repeat in this. I'm going to be repeating this a lot, but don't post your ally codes here in the chat. I'm going to ignore them. I'm going to ignore them because we have a Google form for it and that will do all of my work for me. All right. I'm not going to be sat here typing away, tip tap tapping away. Because you feel you're not feeling well. Oh, I'm sorry, Twist dude. Good at distracting me too. That is absolutely true. Emmett, get out of here. <laughs> 69, 69, 69, 69. You, you, you little devil, you. All right, I need to. Uh, I need to do a quick TW battle, guys. Do you want to join me for a TW battle? I need to do one of those real quick. Real quick, lickety split, splickety lit. Uh, firstly, I need to go in and actually find a team to combat and request it. And request it. Alright, so, so, well, we're ignoring the DTMGs for now. Uh, it will be linked soon enough, Twist, don't you worry. It's, it's essentially changing how you request your, uh, your roster review. It's a Google form. I'm going to link it in the chat. Request to use Gungans. 
denied. Jason GMT8, that's who I'm going to go for. So let's quickly request it. Request. Uh, Beck. Okay, so KB Jason. Good, and we are using JML. Request. Congratulations, we have successfully requested this. So we're using JML, JKL, Jet Knight Raven, and Jolie, and well, we're not going to be using Hoda. No, we're not going to be. No, we're, we're going to be changing that. All right, well, use you, and uh, we're using Jet Knight Cal. We're using Jet Knight Raven and Luke. And um, we'll use Hermit Yoda, I guess. Hermit Yoda. And then let's go ahead and grab one with a little bit of uh, protection. All right. <laughs> do, 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 do. We need to mark Jedi Knight Anakin, stun him with JKL whenever we can, and kill Anakin first. All right, let's do this. That Arnold sir struggled with that tier. What, what did he struggle with, Twist? Uh, right, okay, so we're going over here. Holy moly. Yeah, sure, let's pass it over to Luke. Let's get the stun. Get rid of Anakin. Get rid of Mace. I'll do this just to uh, get rid of stuff and things. Boop. Stun him. Or not. Failed to stun him. Let's gain some TM. Get wrecked, you nerd. It's working rather well. Who'd have thought a, that a GL would beat Keller and Beck? I couldn't see it coming, personally. Could not see it coming. Boop. 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 Can we daze this guy? That would be nice. That's a lot of counterattacks. There we go. No more counterattacks out of you. You're very annoying, Mr. Bellerin Keck. Sure, let's do this. Hey, what's going on, Galactic Empire? How you doing today, buddy? Can't kill him, I don't think. Oh, yes, we can kill him. Super. Super. That was nice and easy. 20 banners, baby. Let's go ahead and uh, lock that one in. 20 banners. Good as gold. Good as gold. All right. A GL that's only taking, th like, three teams to put together to put into one super team. I mean, that's just... That's just standard meta these days, buddy. That's just standard meta. We've got a lot of consolidation of power. We just want to get your Vader modded. Vader modded. To fight Geos? Nothing special, buddy. Speed, potency, done. That's it. That's... all. If As long as your Vader outspeeds the Geos, you win. It's... That's it. Can't wait until uh, you can do that. Yep. It, I mean, it, it happens eventually, buddy. It happens eventually. Need another screen for YouTube chat. I, I need, like, another two screens, because I do... I, two is not enough, I have found. Especially when one is a tiny little 15-inch screen. I think it's actually 17 or something, but either way. Actually, can I... Bear with me one second, guys. I'm just going to sort something out real quick. Get rid of that. That's easier. Good, good, good. And over here. YouTube is open on the second screen. Let's switch to switch between. They're not safe either. <laughs> They're not safe. Um, Crap. Do I need to climb a fleet? 
I think I do need to climb in fleet. So what we'll do, we'll climb in fleet, and then I'm going to open up the uh, roster review list. So I will have that pinned. I'll have the roster review list, and I'll have our PayPal linked up so that people can go through and donate if they want to be on a priority list or if they want to just be kind. Um, but if not, we'll just get through as many roster reviews as we can today. It's going to be good. A dollar? I'll, say, I'll do that for a dollar. Holy moly. Oh, I'm fighting Profundity. Since when do people use Profundity in Fleet Arena? That's illegal. That's illegal. People using Profundity. What do they think this is? What do they think this is? This is some kind of joke? Well, rip me. I'm sure we'll still survive, maybe. I'm sure we might potentially maybe survive. Let's see how we get on. People using profundity. Do 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 do. Well, it's only because of the the lineup that I've been using. The lineup that I'm using just gets wrecked by profundity. So I'm just like I wasn't even looking. I was just like, "Yep, I'm sure what I'm facing is a leviathan." Turns out that no, no it's not. It's not a leviathan. It's in fact a profundity. Which makes things a little bit sketchy. Just a little bit sketchy. Did we actually do any damage to that thing just then? Doesn't feel like it. Um, yeah, let's heal. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Pluto. Huh? <laughs> Boop. Keep on. Oh. Alright, fine. I was gonna say, keep on working on that, buddy. Protection disruption? How very dare you. How very dare you. Stupid protection disruption. We're totally gonna get wrecked here. Oh, well, at least we took over their capital, I guess. It's not all bad news. It's not all bad news. Do 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 boo do boo boo boo. Let's do this. Wonderful. I'm glad we did that. Stop recovering all your protection. And aren't you guys supposed to be feared? Aren't you supposed to be feared? You're supposed to be afraid. Yeek. Heal him up. Wow, we can't do any damage at all, can we? Not even a little bit of damage. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Be, fe Be feared. Come on. We killed a unit. All right, I'm calling mom. We killed a unit. Come on. Good. An AoE. I mean, I should probably put this on full auto, truth be told. Let's put it on full auto and see if it actually fixes anything. Now that we got rid of the Rebel Rye... Blah, 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 the Rebel Rye Ring, we should be able to clear through. It's just a, a case of, can we survive the time <laughs> more than anything else oh dear me all right it'd be great if we could get rid of that bigs it'd be it'd be really nice if he could stop just recovering all of his protection as well for goodness sake shaky jake he's like yep every turn i'm gonna get like 50 percent protection recovery I'll keep focusing on you. Okay, good. Go. Go, go, go. Kill them and stuff. Do the things. You've got a minute left. You've got 50 seconds, Leviathan, to do something. Yeah, 45 seconds. Let's go. It's only a Millennium Falcon. What can it possibly do to you? It dodged. <laughs> it's feared. It's too afraid. Don't be afraid. 
30 se- We did it! There was no doubt. There was no doubt. I did twist. I did see the Star Wars Outlaw trailer. What time are you streaming on Thursday? Will it be before or after 7 p.m.? After 7 p.m. on GMT, or BST, I guess. Next on me, they bring out when you farm a Cairo node, there's a chance to drop an extra Cairo. 0.1% chance. Same chance of drawing a 330 out of a out of a marquee pack. It's not up yet, Drew. Streams are always 7.30 to 8 p.m. Yes, they are, Night Fox. Other than the Friday night ones. Correct. Por que mi profundidad no funciona así? Rayos. <laughs> no lo sé. Administración San Rafael. No lo sé. It was going on or not. It's only a falcon, he says. Uh, yes, you can, Drew. Yes, you can. But like I said, you just need to need to need to wait until it's actually open. Yeah. Fleet Arena Omicron gain additional gems after they remove them. Yeah. If you if you get to first in Fleet Arena, you gain one crystal. Only once per day, obviously. Only once per day. Obviously, only once per day. Do, 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 do. Okay, let me let me go ahead and grab a few things. Grab a few things. So here we go. Uh, just put that on auto. And then we can pin that message. Beautiful. Okay, so the Ross Review form has been linked. It also has also linked the donation link through PayPal. I'm going to go ahead and link that now within... Twitch as well. There we go. So, what happens, guys, is you go through that um, Google Forms. Go through the Google Forms. You sign up for a roster review there. You've got to put in your ally code. Just fill out the form. It'll take two seconds. There's not a heck of a lot in it. Um, and that will automatically populate a form for me, which is really, really useful. Everybody will get in there. I'll have a, a timeline of it. You have to let me know if you've donated. Don't say you have donated when you haven't because I'll be checking every single one <laughs> like don't be that guy don't be that guy and uh, and yeah we'll get it done that way it'll be amazing it'll be amazing why is that not pinning for me now um, Night Fox can you pin that last message I put in Twitch for some reason it's not on me pin the link is broken which one the roster review link is working for me and the stream elements tipping page is also working for me. The link is fine for Bazinga. Works in Twitch chat. Works in Twitch chat. Doesn't work in Google. In YouTube. Okay, let me try that. Oh, yes. How strange. How strange. Give me one second. I'll try and fix the one in Google, uh, in YouTube. Sorry, guys. One moment. I don't know why, for some reason, it doesn't work on YouTube. Let me try that again. Just click that link through YouTube chat. Okay, that, it seems to be working in YouTube chat at the moment. So let's uh, go ahead and replace the pinned message there. That works. Cool. Good stuff. Good stuff. So yeah, 
If you want a Rust review, go ahead and use that form. If you are making a donation, please try to make it through the PayPal link, uh, which you can get, you should be able to get by hitting exclamation mark PayPal. Actually, I'm not sure if it will work within YouTube. It's saying, uh, oh, hang on then. All you Rust YouTube plebs will be last on the list. Um, I don't think there's many people that have filled it out just yet, buddy, but don't worry about it. Hey, Ravith, how you doing today, buddy? You filled it out before the stream. Will that count as well? No, Hod Hod. Absolutely not. I've made that very clear on my Discord channel that somebody that does uh, that, that list is going to purge itself after every single day. So if you've input, if you've gone ahead and tried to go for a roster review before we're actually in a roster review stream, it's not going to count, guys. It's not going to count. It has to be when I say we're going live. Roster reviews are now. All right. Uh, Harry Beth, thank you so much for the resub there. Appreciate you, my dude. Who has a galactic challenge on me? The new phalanx. The new phalanx. Hey, Oliver. How are you doing today, buddy? How the devil are you today? You put your name... Uh, put in my name name rather than twist. Okay, no problem, twist. All good. All good. Righty ho how. Need to keep climbing and fleet. And also the roster reviews will have a 10 minute timer on them, guys. That's to keep me accountable for my time management because I know I like to I like to um, uh, ramble a little bit. So when you're asking for your roster advice, make sure that you are very succinct in what you want me to look at and what you want me to help with. And I will go through it and try to be as helpful and as useful to you as possible. All right. All right. Ramble not bad. Yeah, I know, but people like to actually have their rosters reviewed rather than, you know, hang around in a three hour stream and not get a review. So. CG asked us about Conquest on me and then gave us a GC one. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting choice, right? Wait, Scribe has been in Meathead's DMs. Is this his fault? It is all my fault. It's all my fault. It usually... Dodge? How rude. Boom. Go ahead and bring out the old skithy. Rip. I am a man of constant sorrow. I've known trouble all my days. He's known trouble all his days. So goodbye to old Kentucky. Come on. I want to kill the Marauder eventually. Eventually I would like to defeat it. It has walked off its mortal coil. It has ceased to be. It is an ex Parrot. If you need a fifth figure... What, Andrew? <laughs> if you need a fifth for the Rogue One team, K2O of Scarif uh, K2O is my preferred choice there. I mean, I say that because that's the unit that I chose to use. Basically. You're gone, son. You're gone. Let's take over that capital. Crap it all. Crap it all. I don't need you anymore. Uh, I shall redeem. You shall redeem what? I'm not doing push-ups right now. Get out of here. Omicrons you can skip are a good thing. Yes, I agree. And are going to be really hard in GC to prevent people from hitting the tier 8 box without the Omicron. That's what people are worried about. Oh, no, I, I completely agree, kid. I'm not mad at a GC Omicron unless it completely locks us out of getting any sort of rewards from the GCs that involve Tus uh, Tuscans. Gungans, all right? Obviously, that's not going to be the case because that's just not how the feats work unless they're all very hyper-specifically Gungan-focused. 
that you just like there's no other way to get them right i highly doubt cg does that with that in mind it begs the question what's the flipping point what's the point who's gonna do it like you might as well have no omicron on there you know that's the thing Jar Jar for Conquest? It's going to be Gak. You know that. Can't tell if Scribe is ignoring the Redeem or hasn't noticed. No, no, I've seen the... I, I'm I'm willfully ignoring it. I said, I'm not doing push-ups right now. You crazy? I heard a noise. Something happened. Thank you kindly, good sir. Thank you kindly. Uh, we will get to that anon. We will get to that anon. I'll do unsavory things for you if this is true. Oh, it's doable. Just really hard. <laughs> All right, then. All right, then. This profundity, the pilots are R9. On that guy's profundity? No, no. That like it was just the lineup I was using, uh, San Rafael. It's because I was starting with the um make sure you sign up for GAC, guys. Just like your boy Scribble over here. It was because my starting lineup had the uh interceptor in. So he was able to take the first turn and kill the interceptor, and then you know, there's no tank on my team, so he's just able to basically kill two units out the rip. That's pretty standard. <laughs> What if Jar Jar has both Gak and a TW1? Unlikely twist, but it could happen. With this new GC Omi, watch CG get the characters in the GC have their own Omis turned on. I mean, they did similar, like, in Conquest, Starkiller has got his Omi active. Just seems so strange, because the GCs are one of the main sources of Omis. They would need to prohibit... Yeah, exactly, Wolfie. Yeah, exactly. When's the ro it's soon, Oliver. I just need to get into first and fleet. Just need to get into first and fleet, and then we're going to kick it off. Very, very soon. Very, very soon. We have three messages within our inbox. The rewards shall be ours. Did it do? Yeah, it's um, it's interesting times. I, I'm I'm totally not against CG introducing Omicrons to different game modes and having fun with stuff. Absolutely on board with it. Crack on. But they have to serve a purpose, right? They should just make a PvE Omicron combined all TB raid conquest and now GC Omicrons together. Um, I am like I wouldn't be mad if they made Omicrons that operate across all game modes, but are weaker. But they have them already. They do have them already. They're called Zetas. If you remember my... Con oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. I do remember Twist. Yeah. Went through three customer support people so far. They've yet to resolve the issue. Oh, my God. Twist. That sucks, dude. Missing out on those shards, brother. Uh, no. Well, yeah. I mean, technically shards, right? It was, it was proving grounds you were missing out on. I doubt there's anything they can do it. You expected the Omicron to let you use the faction gun guns in any GC and get the faction feet? I mean... If, if it was something like that, then it has more value, but maybe, maybe certain whales might do it just for the simplicity of being like, oh yeah, I've got a full R8 gun gun faction. I'm going to go into the Galactic Challenge, hit auto and get it all. You know? It's not a bad idea. It's better than what they... Like, the the Omicron, it sounds like it is powerful within Galactic Challenges. It, it really does. But... It's just like... Why though? Uh, for anything new get and new things added need to be purposeful and balanced. Well, yeah. Did they just have mass dodge there on that first move? So an anonymous, anonymous person tipping five pounds. Thank you. Donations to the Boomer Fund or the Phalanx Fund right now. You can see it going up in the top right top right corner over there. Um, I'm going to have to know the ally code so I can see who to review. 
Did you make the decision on the Tribe Talks contest? Yes, yes, I've I've put out the... The winners have been notified within Discord. I don't know if, um, if Meathead has distributed rewards yet. You love Marcel in Tomato. Huh? <laughs> is that... Is that supposed to be mackerel? Oh, mackerel. Fish in tomato. Thank you for sharing with the class, I guess. Thank you for sharing with the class. I'm glad you enjoy your fish. Fish is... Mackerel is delicious. I agree. Thanks for... Thanks for a lot for that script. You're very welcome. Have you had rewards, Hod Hod? Bam, 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 bam. Unfortunately, unstoppable. We had a round table of Carthric pick the winners. If you have any issues, take it up with Carthric. He's a giant whale. He can take it. Not that you know of yet. Okay. I just hate Gungans. I don't hate Gungans. I have every released Gungan at R5. How could I possibly hate Gungans? How could I possibly hate Gungans? You know, you're going to say something about my lack of Zetas or something. Because my guild would... They really wouldn't. They really wouldn't. I hope. I hope they wouldn't. This is where Vin comes in the chat and says, Yeah, Scribe, you better get them to R5. Otherwise, you're out. You're done. You're cooked. We don't need your kind around here. All right, cool. So we're just going to do this uh, last fleet battle. Climb into first in the old fleet -aroo. And then we're going to start these roster reviews. I know we've had, I believe, two, three... Three donations so far. I do. I hate Night Sisters, Wolfie. I hate Night Sisters because they're not geared. <laughs> I'm. I unlike you all. I'm. Not, I'm not here for the rewards. I'm not here for the rewards. Delete Night. Si I think if we could get rid of Night Sisters from the game, the world would be a, a, a happier place. You know, and. Um, Nobody would be able to get beat tier 3 of Secrets and Shadows. It'd be great. Get wrecked. Chat bomb. No, Oliver, not at all. Not at all. Uh, donating for reviews is entirely optional. Entirely optional. You can certainly put your name down for uh, free reviews. Thank you so much, whoever that was. Oh, thanks, though. Thank you kindly, good sir. That brings us up to £40 on the old Phalanx Fund. That's good business. Thank you, guys. That's paid for the uh, marquee pack. Appreciate you. I appreciate you. Stop missing! That's so rude. Bye. It dodged three attacks in a row. <laughs> Stop dodging. <laughs> like, it's so rude. It's so rude, guys. It's dodging so many attacks. It's very rude. I know he had foresight that time. That's fine. I don't mind when he, if he dodges when he has foresight. I'll let him off. Sister's my favorite squad. Oh, oh, oh Kimmy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm only grumpy because mine suck. Desi will delete you. Oh, yeah, no, I can't upset Desi. I definitely can't upset Desi. You personally think that having an Omicron on every new character is a hugely wasted opportunity. They're essentially intentionally splitting the kit, whereas the base units, it's an addition to the kit. I mean, you're not wrong. Emil tipped five pounds. Hello, bald and beautiful. Love your content. Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. I am both bald and beautiful. It is true. Right, let's strip off. Because it's warm in here this evening. But baby, it's warm inside. Ugh. Naked scribble. <sighs> uh, they don't mess up the design space. They just mean that the design space has to accommodate for it. 
that's that's all it is. It's just kits now have to be designed with Omicrons in mind. Just like when, you know, Zetas came to the game. Historic units got all the Zetas. New ones were built with them. And what will we do with the attack on the Wookiees? Who knows? Sound IFL. All right. Bear with me one uno momento, por favor. I need to go ahead and whip up this list. I need to whip it up. I need to whip it out. Don't you know we gotta scream and shout? Whip it up. Whip it out. Don't you know you gotta scream and shout? All right, I have got a bunch of responses that I can view inside of the Google Sheets. Isn't this lovely? Isn't she lovely? Thank you, whoever that was. Why is this not working? Stop this. Alrighty. Okie dokie. So, let's have a look. We have got one, two, three, four people that apparently have, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, have donated through to the roster reviewers. Let's go ahead and open up. Just so we can check. Because I have to check. I have to, I have to check. Okay, so Ross, yes, I can see that. Yep. Cool, 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 cool. So first on the list is going to be Ross. Ross, who is this, actually? Is this going to be... Um, was it... I can't remember who said they, they put their real name in, so apologies. Uh, Janus, don't bother putting your ally code inside the chat. Follow the link that's pinned in chat. Follow the link and fill out that roster review form. That is the way we do things now. That is the way. Janus! It was me and I'm called John. Hey, John. How you doing? But apparently, apparently, Syndra, Syndra is who put it in. It was our first roster review of the day. Ross would be you. XCR, XCR Sin. XCR Sin, you are first on the list, apparently. Let me just check to make sure that John is in this list. John, you are indeed on this list, but you didn't say yes. You didn't say yes when you said you donated. That's why, that's why I, it didn't flag you. You have to say yes, buddy. You have to say yes. So, apologies, uh, apologies, Sindra. We'll, we'll get back to you in a second. We need to go over to John. The John that cost 200 gems? Is that it? Twist, is this you? The John that cost 200 gems? It do be me. Okay, cool. Right, so this is the new way we're going to do it, guys. We have got a timer for 10 minutes on these roster reviews, okay? This is going to keep me accountable to make sure that we can get through a decent chunk of these roster reviews within the time because a lot of people are getting disappointed that they're not getting roster reviews and I want to make sure that I can get through to people, okay? General thoughts and ideas about your roster. Okay, no problem. No problem. So we're going to start this timer real quick. Lickety split. Boom. Reset and go. Cool. All right. So let's check it out, John. Or should I say twist? Twist and shout. 8.6 million GP twist. I like it. I like it. Already I like to see we've got a JML. Even though, even though you don't have them at relic levels and you don't have all the Zetas and stuff, you're still like, hell yeah. I'm totally going to go into squad arena and use him. I like the chutzpah. I like the moxie. We've got also executor, which is cool. Rise of the demands. Indeed. Mm. All right. So 8.6 mil. We're rocking two GLs, three technically, with JML. I would say at a glance, at a glance, that three GLs at eight plus million is probably a little bit on the low side. But I'll wait. Maybe you'll redeem yourself with a whole host of really good ships. Or maybe you just have a whole host of uh, meat on the bones, as it were, that is worth having in an account. Okay, so out of the GLs that you have, I'm very happy to see the ones that you do have. Jabba the Hutt, most important GL to have in the game. If you've seen my recent GL um, ranking video, 
I think I released it Monday, maybe? No, Sunday? Can't remember. I think it was Sunday. Um, I placed Jabba right at the top. He is number one, as far as I'm concerned. Best overall GL in the entire game to have because of the value he brings to your roster, right? You're getting everything that you need out of all of PvE game modes. You're getting a really solid defensive and offensive Galactic Legend. And he gives you benefit in all other game modes, such as Conquest and access to Smuggler's Run 2, which gives you massive mod advantages. And Supreme Leader Kylo Ren is incredibly valuable, really good on offense in GAC, relatively okay in certain scenarios on defense, and also gives you a fleet that can help you do stuff and things. So good stuff. And JML is one of my favorites as well. So I love the GLs that you have. Keep in mind, I held on taking a GL for a long time. That's fine. Scribe, I was not on the list of paid roster reviews. Was I not on the list? Of, well, uh, what's your name, Drew? What did you put down? What did you, what, uh, for your name? I don't see Drew too. Not seeing Drew too here, buddy. What did you put your name inside of the um, inside of the list, Drew? Um, okay, cool. So let's check out your fleets then. We have got. Chimera, we've got Executrix Endurance, Negotiator, Malevolence at 7 stars, and Executor. Okay, fine. So again, at 8.6 million, only having one Galactic Legend ship, three of the Galactic Legends. Um, maybe a little bit shy on the top end meta stuff, but it's okay. At least you've got Malev and you've got Negotiator go on alongside with it. Not seeing any sort of Radis action kicking around just yet. Have you got the Echelon up and running? You do. That's really nice to see. Would probably like to see just a couple more relics here and there on the finalizer fleet to give you that capability of tackling stuff like Executor with this fleet. Just gives you a little bit more in your lunchbox, as it were. Gives you a little snack just on the side, but otherwise good to see. I know, right, Night Fox? Thank you, buddy. Apophis. I'll, I'll check it in a sec, Drew, okay? I'll check it in a sec after we've done this roster review. Just, uh, just remind me. Okay, so apart from that, let's think about what sort of legendary teams that you do actually have within this roster. I can see that you've got Gas 501st. Let's check out the whole squad, how we'd look in. Yeah, you've got them all there. They're a little bit low on the old relic levels, but it's still okay. At least you've got the team up and running and you'll be able to use Datacrons with them. Let's check out the modding real quick. Working on Inquisitors drained you. I mean, that would, that would. All right, so health protection is decent enough, especially considering he's Relic 5. That's actually a very respectable level of, uh, of protection. The speed is over and above what I would expect, and you've managed to get a crit damage triangle on him. So I'd say overall, modding wise, pretty decent. I prefer to see like defense sets or an offense set on gas, but your protection levels are really good, and so are your speed. So you should be proud of that. Stop timer if Scr Scribble gets distracted. You stop the timer if I get distracted. All right, let's actually take a look. Do you have Bad Batch geared up? I'm not surprised that you don't, just because of, like, you've not pushed for Lord Vader yet, so that usually means you don't get it. It just would help your Galactic Republic fleet with that Marauder. Let's check out your Jedi faction, because Jedi are very important. You've got some of the good ones here. You can see you've got Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker, you've got Jedi Knight Revan, GMY is up and running, you've got Hermit Yoda, all very well and good. I'd like to see some relic levels on some of the more important uh, Jedi. You know, Jolie, Mace, these are really important guys. Juhani can be. You've got that TW on me, so it's probably something that you should consider down the line. But all in all, oh man, this Kiadi Monday must be painful for you to be farming up, right? You wanted to work on them, but Kai no, I completely understand. Bad Batch are incredibly Cairo heavy. 1600 Kairos to take just four of them to gear 12, uh, gear 13. Farming him slow. Yeah, yeah, Kiadi Mundi, I feel really bad for anybody that missed out on light side GOTB because Kiadi Mundi now is just a nightmare of a farm. It's not fun. It's not fun. You have to spend thousands upon thousands upon tens upon hundreds upon... I don't even know. I've never done the math. But it's probably over 100,000 get three to get a seven-star Kiadi Mundi. And who wants to do that? Instead, you had to go ahead and build a time machine, go suffer like the rest of us in Lightside GOTB with Shakti clones. I am indeed, Andrew. I am indeed because... I had far too many complaints about people missing out on reviews because I was taking 40 minutes to do reviews. So this is the new long and short of it, my friend. All right, cool. So what else are we looking at over here? CLS team, very good to see CLS in here. Let's go ahead and look at them. So you've got CLS, you've got Han Solo, 3PO Chewie and Chewbacca. You've got the ideal team. They've got some very respectable relic levels on them and it looks like you have basically every Zeta that matters. So that's really nice to see as someone that thoroughly, thoroughly enjoys 
his CLS squads. It's always nice to see a decent CLS squad up and running. It's easy if they merc with the Light Sage OTB guild. It is, but that's not exactly, you know, I, I, well, actually, I don't know. I have no idea. There probably are guilds out there that specifically set up to run Light Sage OTB, but I don't know. I've never looked. I've never looked. It seems like it should be a good thing to have. Just a guild full of high relic um, Shakti clone setups that all jump in there to get uh, Kiari Mundi farmed. Alrighty then. So let's keep on looking. Checking out the Sith Empire next then. Sith Empire, you have got the core team. Obviously no Malgus just yet. I don't know if you were missing out on the conquest shards for your Malgus. But if you uh, if you are, make sure, well, uh, I hope you are farming Proving Grounds to get your Malgus shards and then working on getting the Fury Class Interceptor after that because that's going to open up doors for you to get the Leviathan down the line. And apart from that, Sith Empire, really, really strong PvP team as well. I did because of it. <laughs> All right. Three new alliance waiting to push forwards and no points as he's not required. Ah. All righty. Let's go ahead and check your inquisit because I know you did mention you were pushing for the Inquisitorius. Okay, great. So you've just hit that threshold within your guild where all of your Inquisitorius are up and running. You unlocked uh, Grand Inquisitor, but I'm guessing now you need to get five of them to R7 to start competing in the Reaver event mission in um, phase three of uh, of wrote right you unjust unlock the scythe as well that's huge though unlocking the scythe is incredibly important for your empire counter your chimera fleet what i would say is you want to get some relic levels on that thrawn to make the capital ship that little bit faster but you've got the imperial tie fighter all sorted and ready the interceptor doesn't necessarily need anything more as long as you've got that unique ability maxed out to reinforce if you've got the TIE Advanced on the field. That's all you really need. He's, he's not the important piece of the puzzle. This TIE Defender down here is. Again, I'd, I'd like to see like Relic 5 at a minimum to sort of maximize the likelihood of that counter successfully pulling off against Leviathan. But against other fleets, you don't necessarily need it to be that strong. Um, and yeah, the Scythe, love to see it. Love to see it, my man. That's good. That's good. Make sure you check out some guides on the Reaver mission as well. It's incredibly simple and straightforward, but it does require a little bit of thought and probably remodding if you don't happen to have Reaver already. I don't remod for it anymore because Reaver kind of makes it a piece of cake. What else can we have a look at over here? Love to see that you've got a Star Killer team up and running, but I'm going to take this opportunity just to filter by unaligned force users. Check the mods of mine if you want. Uh, I, I've got 60 seconds left on this review, so I could check the mods if you like but it might take up some time. So I like that you've unlocked Commander Ahsoka Tano. It's a shame that she's not relicked up because your roster can certainly still make use out of her, even though you don't have Jedi Master Kenobi. You could still throw her in a Padme team and that team still beats JMK, which is a really lovely thing to have happen. And, you know, eventually you'll want her regardless. Sia Junda, Ahsoka Tano, Fulcrum, Cal Kestis and Visis Ma. This makes me think that you've probably started pushing for Jedi Knight Cal Kestis. I don't think I saw him in your Jedi roster, but uh, I might have either missed or forgotten it. But eventually these guys do form a very, very powerful TW team, so it's always useful to have. Slowly doing it. You've also got Ben Solo, so you've been hitting your proving grounds and you've been getting some good progress there. It's really good to see. Do the right thing. All right, Iden or bust. I'm with you there, Wolfie. I'm with you there. Uh, Starkiller and uh, Mara Jade, really, really fantastic. Gives you another GL counter. All right, I think that about does it. That about does it. I think your roster is in an interesting place. I think you've got a lot of the core. It just needs that little finishing touch. I'd like to see a couple more GLs, and I'd certainly like to see the likes of Profundity and Leviathan in the mix as well. But all things in due time. Thank you, Twist. Padme Cat beats JMK. It does, Alelusi App. I remember your name from before, good sir. Alrighty. Um, no, quite all right, Twist. Quite all right. So I believe we had... Sorry, who, who was it that was saying earlier that they weren't pinged on the um, premium roster reviews or the pr priority roster reviews? Who was that? That was Drew. Drew too true. He said he had a, a different name. Drew, could you... Uh, um, speak up, please, buddy, and, and I'll see if I can find you on that list. It's Madam. Oh, Madam. I, I apologize, Madam Alelusi App. I apologize. I apologize. I think you'll find it's Madam. 
Absolutely. Absolutely. Boom, boom, boom. Drew too true. Unless, uh, unless Night Fox, did you manage to pin the name to one side? Let's have a look. Apophis, that was it, wasn't it? Yeah, Apophis, you are in the you are in the premium roster review list, but it is Ross first. It is Ross first. Good business. Sindre. Or Cinder, I guess. Cinder, are you in the chat, dude? Yeah, Apophis, you are in the chat. It's just your name in, in YouTube is Drew Too True. And uh, Apophis, you, you are in the chat and it has flagged you as a uh, premium review. Okay, cool. Good business, good business. You're here. I'm not going to start the timer just yet. I'm just going to read out what you wrote in the message. Came back to the game after a five-year break. Your mods are in a less than great state and I'm trying to get your core teams on track. Where should I be focusing? Currently prioritizing, prioritizing exec as your fleets are performing badly. All right. Okay. Okay, fine. This is fine. This is fine. So you want to know where to focus? You're prioritizing getting exec up and running in the meantime. I like to see it. I like to see it. So first of all, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the donation and getting on the priority review. You're at 5.4 million, part of the British Knights. Oh, the Brit Knights of the British Empire over here. Love to see it. So, 5.4 million GP. You've got Slacker currently. Currently missing the Alt and one Zeta. I imagine the Zeta that you're missing right now is probably on the basic. I hope it's on the basic. Eventually, oh no, it's not. It's not on the basic. It's on Press the Advantage. I'm pretty certain you'll want that Press the Advantage, but in due course, in due course. Just got the gift, a thousand crystals. Congratulations to all of those that got gifted crystals from our tournament on Sunday, our competition. Well done, you guys. Thank you so much for getting involved. Hey, Famous Oaks, how you doing today, buddy? All right, so you said you're focusing on Executor. Yes, I completely agree. Executor should definitely 100% be your main focus right now. 5.4 million, and we're missing a lot of that bulk within Fleet. We don't have anything like Negotiator. We don't have anything like Malevolence currently, Cinder. So I would like to see something there to try and elevate you. The faster you get into top end of Fleet, the more that you're going to maximize your crystal income. And crystal income basically translates into roster development over time. Time. Okay, so that should be number one focus. Get that executor up and running as soon as possible so you can start climbing. If I remember correctly, you're around 70th ish position within your fleet shard currently. You should be able to get top 20, but I don't know how busy your fleet shard is. It might be an incredibly busy one where you're going to have to fight tooth and nail all the way up. It could be top 30 or all Leviathans. Uh, so I'm just checking chat. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And if you feel wrong, blame Karth. Exactly, exactly, blame Karth. If in doubt, blame Karth. Might go for Profundity, then Leviathan. Oh, yeah, okay. So, 73 and everything as Negotiator, Exec and such. Okay, that's fine. So long as there aren't loads and loads of Leviathans in there, you should be okay. You should be okay. So, after you've finished on that, I'm going to give you my general stock advice. I can see stuff like you've got some core here. You've got Gen Knight Revan and Darth Revan, which typically for me is an early game thing. It's nice to have, but it's not somewhere I would focus. I like to focus, instead of getting these, I'd be like, yeah, let's exec rush or let's profundity rush and then use that to bounce into our GLs. But this, there's nothing wrong with this approach. It's just a different take, right? So I would always recommend pushing for the likes of Jabba the Hutt as quickly as possible because Jabba the Hutt brings too much to everybody's account. He's a very valuable GL in all instances of the word, and he does give you amazing mod roster development. OK, you already mentioned that your mod game is weak or is not uh, where you want it to be. And trust me, you will always feel that way because it never, never, matter, never matters how many mods that you actually farm. You're always going to want more and better mods forever in a day. Hey, Johnny, how you doing? Oh, there's a long list, buddy. There is a long list. I don't know if you've already filled out the form. I don't know if you've already filled out the form, buddy. Um, okay, so I think 
pushing for Jabber is where I would prefer you to go, but you don't have to directly go executor into Jabber. If that is too much of a push for you, you might want to consider trying to pick up low hanging fruit such as C. You've already got Supreme Leader Kylo Ren and you'll be pushing executor. So you're going to have a little bit of bleed over of units there that will help you unlock C at a faster pace. Also, because you're pushing executor, you'll be able to work into teams like Imperial Troopers, which although they have fallen off a little bit, they are still a valuable team to have, specifically if you are still climbing through GAC leagues and divisions. You'll be able to find a use for Via's Piet Dark Trooper, you know? C is almost free. Exactly. Exactly. And you've already got investment in Veers and Stark. Like I said, you're already working on Piet. These need to go to R3 for C, right? As another galactic legend. Obviously, you're not going to be having Bane anytime soon, but C with Bane down the line eventually is very good. Bane with anything in general is very, very good. He's basically a GL himself. So have that as your option there. If you don't particularly want to start a really big farm after you finish Executor to push for Jabba, have a think about, well, maybe I'll just dip my toes in and I'll unlock C. You can use that opportunity after you finish C to think, well, maybe I'll just finish off an Imperial Trooper squad. So you'll have two, uh, three of them already. You'll have Stark, Veers, and Piet already at Relic levels, thanks to that. Dip your toes in, get Range Trooper maybe to R3, and think of just a plus one, Dark Trooper, yeah? And then you'll be a set for a, a Imperial Trooper team. You'll have two GLs, you'll have a GL capital ship, right? But eventually, I would say, make sure you try and prioritize pushing for Jabba because that's going to make a big difference to your overall roster development, especially the earlier you get it, the longer you get to benefit from Smuggler's Run 2. Yeah? Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Make sure you throw any questions that you happen to have inside the chat. Hey, Shrek Harvey, how are you doing today? Hey, Rogue Clover. Okay, so taking a look at what you do have, I can already see you've got EP and Darth Vader. Ooh, we've got Hux, obviously. Let's actually see. Did you manage to farm the TIE Echelon? Because it's not a requirement, I believe, for the First Order. You do have the TIE Echelon, but only at two stars. Really, I would recommend trying to get the stars for this. If you're not already farming it, try to add it into your farm list. It really does massively elevate the potential of the finalizer. You don't want to find yourself at the end of the day without the Echelon in a good enough place to do much of anything. Uh, working on it, but I ain't started recently. Yep, no, that's completely fine. That's completely fine. Boom, boom, boom. I, I will have to grab a drink. I'll grab a drink after this roster review so that I can actually, you know, whet my whistle. I can see you've started making moves on JTR. Are you looking to push for Ray at the moment? You do have a lot of investment over here. Is this a light speed bundle setup? Are you thinking of pushing for Ray after you've uh, after you finished the executor? This looks like a light speed bundle thing to me. You hate the character. <laughs> You hate the character, but you're like, yeah, but these guys, this Ray is okay. This one, she's a big doo-doo head. You did buy the Lightspeed packs? I mean, that kind of changes farms just a little bit. So the fact that you're very close to a GL means you really shouldn't ignore it. It just means like you're, you're wasting that 999 or the advantage that it can give you in a short amount of time. JTR underrated. Underrated. Uh, JTR is phenomenal. Like, she's a really, really good team. There was a time when this was meta, before the likes of... I think it was before Treya came out in 2018. Something like that. Um, JTR was, like, the latest legendary, and she was meta. Treya was the team that supplanted her, and then Jedi Knight Revan came out. But uh, she's really, really good. She is really, really good. You know, JTR with BB-8, C-3PO, R2-D2, throw in bag... With the bag bros, she's even better, man. Um, she's very, very good. It's such a good, strong control team that you shouldn't really neglect it. But more importantly, you bought the Lightspeed Bundle. Make a, Take advantage of the fact that you bought the Lightspeed Bundle and probably get Ray. Don't stop your exec farm, though. Get exec first, because that's what's going to stabilize your future income. More so than, say, getting Ray to help performance in GAC. Always try to prioritize crystal income first if you want to be efficient. If you want to be efficient. Spending some time to fix five years out of the game. Yeah. 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 Five years out of the game will do that to you. When used correctly, JTR can indeed destroy things. So that would definitely be my recommendation. And while you're there, work on Zori Bliss specifically right now with the current Datacron set in particular. She is <sighs> so boring. No, she's phenomenal. She's really, really good under the right circumstances. Holdo, amazing. 
you know, with the Datacrons currently, it's just next level, next level. So you're doing yourself a disservice if you don't try to finish off that resistance farm and start working on Ray. Yeah, it's not going to happen right now, Twist. Did you watch the Star Wars? I, I did. I did, Shrek. I did, buddy. I did. All right. I like to see that you do have Treya and her Omicrons. So that does mean that you have got a little bit of invest. Obviously, you said you bought the um, you bought the Lightspeed Bundle Pack, so you do have Star Killer. The only problem I think with the Star Killer Pack is it does give you a lot of um, it gives you a lot of breadth of things that can fit into different teams. But if you don't have the roster to support it, it gets a little bit tricky, right? Because Star Killer is an oddball. Yes, he needs some Empire teams. He needs Palpatine and he needs Mara Jade. But then he starts needing stuff like Visus Ma, for example, and then he needs a Jedi tank or an unaligned light side force user in a Jedi unit. I Preferably, I would say a Jedi tank, but it's good to see that you've made some investment, but probably hold off on that for now. Keep in mind, Datacrons are temporary. Always, always. Yeah, OK, cool. Moving as swiftly on. I like to see you've got some good investments in these bounty hunters as well. This is a good core bounty hunter team and obviously feeds into your executor farm as well. So you'll be able to take out quite a few things in this in GAC, which is nice. It's nice to have in your back pocket where you go up against a team where one unit particularly just absolutely has to die, you know? So yeah, definitely like to see this. Missing a couple of Zetas here, but I imagine after all these light speed bundles, your Zeta income is probably blah, 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 all the way down in the dumps. All the way down in the dumps. Hey, Mischievous Grievous, thank you so much for the 499 there. Make sure you do fill out the Google form, otherwise you will not be added to the list there. Regret to fall into the stereotype that all free-to-play players tell their account is free-to-play, so instead, here's a zero dinero account. I love it. Totally broke? Yeah, that's always going to be the way. Exia, when you get all of this, like, massive units into your roster, uh, you're just not going to have... It's not like they give you 200 Zeta mats, right? So you can't just immediately throw on a bunch of Zetas. I think your roster is certainly salvageable after a five-year break, you know? You're focusing on the right things, which is the important part, you know? You're focusing on trying to get that fleet game up. You're focusing on trying to get the additional GLs under your account. Like I said, finish off that raid team. Start thinking about getting into Jabba once you've finished with your... Executive Farm. Sorry about that. It started playing a different playlist that I'm not willing to engage in right now. Uh, but yeah, that's good stuff, Cinder. That is really good stuff. Right, bear with me one moment. We're taking a very short break so for your boy Scribble to go downstairs and grab a drink, and I will be right back up with you. Alrighty, sorry about that. Some high quality H2O. This break brought to you by Gatorade. It's got electrolyte. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Good business. How long is the priority queue? Let me have a look for you real quick. 
I will have to first refresh this roster review list. Here is our roster review list currently, and we're going to go through and we're going to mark off the people that are complete. So I am going to paint format. And we're going to just put this in green. So green means done. We have done with uh, John over here. We are done with Ross. Why is that no longer green? Okay. So we'll have Apophis is next. That is a yes over there. So we've got one, two, three, four, four priority roster reviews first. And then a whole host of other people. A whole host of other people. So Drew Too True, are you in the chat, buddy? Drew Too True, are you in the chat? Sound off. <laughs> True, too true, where the devil are you? True, I shall give you a moment. Ah, you are here. Good, good, good. I am glad that you are here, Drew. It is time for your roster review, good sir. So you are saying, would like my opinion on what you should farm next. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. So allow me to reset the timer. And away we go. So Apophis here, or Drew Too True within the YouTube chat, has got 8.3 million GP and he is in the Chunky Knights of Knee. God, I love that as a guild name. That is fantastic. So we've already got um, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren here and we're rocking Executor, which is seven stars. Hey, Arkan, how are you doing today, buddy? Uh, with Inflate Arena. And we're sitting in Kyber 3. Congratulations on hitting Kyber and Kyber 3 in general. Good business. So 8.3 million. We have got two Galactic Legends. Let's just double check to make sure we don't have any furthers. Nope. Two Galactic Legends. Thankfully, one of them is really, really good. And the other one is just really good. So you've got some good Galactic Legends on your side. Again, we went over a similar sort of roster before. Around the 8 million mark, having two GLs is probably, uh, probably a little bit on the low side as far as GLs are going. But it doesn't mean that you can't perform. You're already in Kyber 3, so you should pat yourself on the back and maybe get yourself a nice, delicious biscuit. No gravy, though. Crazy yanks. All right, so checking out fleets then. I can see that you've got a four-star Profundity Radus over here. Perhaps you are pushing currently for Galactic Legend Ray. I don't know. Uh, I'm doing very well. Thank you, Arkan. Thank you, Arkan. So we've got Negotiator. You've got Chimera, Finalizer, Malevolence. Like to see that. And you have got your Executor. Okay, so plus side, you've got one Galactic um, Legend ship, essentially. And you've got a couple of the meta fleets that are not sort of the top end meta ones. You know, we're not, you know, you've got one out of three of the top end meta fleets out of Executor, Leviathan and Profundity. You've also happen to have stuff like Malev and Negotiator. Let's quickly check out your empire. I'm curious to know if you've got the Inquis teams up and running. Not currently, so that kind of puts another hamper. I would say maybe you want to be thinking about Profundity at this point, but we're going to go over here. I want to know, have you got uh, light speed bundles? Are you pushing for, say, Galactic Legend Ray? Oh, looks like you are half pushing here. This is not a light speed bundle, but this look this looks to me like you are angling towards unlocking GL Ray. Is that right? Or was this something that you started and then stopped? Let me know in the chat. Let me know in the chat, please, Drew. Now, obviously, my recommendations for uh, GLs are always going to be Hut Cartel. OK, if you don't have Jabber, usually my recommendation is get Jabber. The fact that you've already got Executor means you have started on some of this farm already, which is nice to see. You have already got Bausch at seven stars. You've already got Santi at seven stars. So that's really, really useful. Gives you a bit of a leg up. You've already done JML's farms, and there's a little bit of a bleed over between JML and Jabber. Not a massive one, but a little bit of the one. So honestly, honestly, at this point, I would say, hey, try and get Jabber. Try and get Jabber. Unless you are super, super close to something else. I saw your half-baked way there over to Ray. How is your Rogue One looking? Rogue One isn't looking like it's something that you prioritized just yet. CG on drugs, they don't know it's part of the culture in the Bay, but damn. Are you talking about the GC Omicron? Just need to whet the whistle, as it were. 
So this is something that I think that you should try and look to prioritize after you've got Jabber unlocked. Take a look at your core teams. I will in one moment. Um, so yeah, I would definitely say, definitely say right now, you either want to push for Jabber, what my recommendation would be, and then switch over to Profundity unless you are really invested in getting that Ray team. Okay. So core teams, let's start off with Jedi then. So your Jedi looking in pretty good shape, truth be told. Pretty good shape, I'd say, overall. Keller and Beck is still in work in progress, but it looks like you are focusing on him. I do recommend people these days unlock Keller and Beck, even if you're not pushing for Bogusan Mandalore, because he just adds a heck of a lot of power. It's good to see that you've got Jedi Knight Luke, obviously Jedi Knight Revan, you've got your gas, you've got an Omicron Mace Windu, which means your guild focuses at least a little bit on TW Omis, which is perfectly, perfectly fine. Let's have a look. I mean, all of these are in the right spot, I would say. You've got the Qui-Gon Jinn army. You've got Jedi Knight Anakin. I'd say, you know, a lot of this is Relic 5. Would like to see a couple of, you know, a couple of higher Relic levels, but I understand it's very, very difficult to start pushing Relic levels across the board. It's not something that you can do just at a drop of a hat. So Juhani is another fantastic tank, but really not for Jedi. She's more for a Starkiller team within TW with her Omicron. Plo has his use as a pilot as well. Ones that we're missing here are perfectly acceptable to not have geared up. Barris and Keller and Beck being the, the, you know, exclusions to that rule, in my opinion. But it does mean that you should have... Oh, no, okay, you don't have Cam unlocked at all. That's fine. Let's go ahead and check out those Rebels. Re -re 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 Rebels! Okay, so, good. We've got CLS, Chewbacca, C-3PO, Han Solo, and Chupio, all at minimum of Relic 5. Thank you, Sirens, for the follow. Welcome to the tribe. You've got, by the looks of things, all of the Zetas that you would need to make this team work, so I'm super happy for you on that. I can see Captain Sexy Rexy, so let's quickly filter by Phoenix. Just to make this... Oh, yeah, this is 100% a Lightspeed Bundle Phoenix team, but I'm still here for it. Still here to rep the Phoenix squad as a really fantastic faction. Can't wait for the Doubtcron to disappear so that Phoenix can come back and actually do something again. Because Doubtcrons just wreck Phoenix comps. It's really annoying. I want to use my Relic 9 Phoenix. Right now, they just sit there and cry. That's right. I'm calling Phoenix a core team. All right, let's check out your Sith Empire then. So Sith Empire, we have got the OG squad here. Not got any of that Malgus glory though. Are you unlocking Malgus? Have you been getting his shards in Proving Grounds? And how far away are you? And then of course, there will be the Fury Class Interceptor, which will feed into an eventual Leviathan that you'll have to get, which will mean more relic levels over here. Let's take a look, take a look, take a look, take a look. I mean, you've got a Galactic Republic team. I don't think you have JMK. So I wonder if you've got Commander Ahsoka Tano. You do. That's great. That's great. You've got Commander Ahsoka Tano, so you can make use out of her in a Padme team. I know it's not an ideal setup, but at least it gives you another GL counter. It gives you a little bit of a tool in your toolbox, as it were. A little bit of a tool in the toolbox. Wonderful. Wunderbar. Do we have Starkiller? I noticed you had done some Lightspeed Bundle loving, so maybe you do have... Oh, triple Omi Starkiller. This is the way, buddy. This is the way. And you've relicked up your Visus Mods for Relic 3. So I'm assuming, obviously, Palps is going to be at Relic 7. And I guess you just throw in a random Jedi to support. But it's nice to see that you have the team at at least Relic 3, so you can start making use out of all of these Omicrons alongside Datacrons to have lots and lots of fun. The Mara Jade Omicron in TW is also very, very valuable. So props to you on that. Inquisitors, this makes me a little sad. The fact that you've got Malakos is really nice. Obviously, what I would recommend at this point, this is just a general rule of thumb, is like... Just don't bother. It, unless you're going to relic. Don't bother taking things to gear eight. I know you're probably looking at is, oh, I'll put all the gear that's not Chirotech on it. But this is still eating into your resources in one way or another. And it, genuinely, you probably... I'll, I'll be surprised if you ever actually use this team and, and kill anything with it. Maybe you do. Maybe you do. But for me, unless you're going to max something... I say max something... Unless you're taking it to relics, I wouldn't bother investing anything in the team. Unless you want it for mod storage capabilities. In which case, you just take it to level 50 and leave it. Um, that's just my two cents on that. That's that's my old school approach to building rosters. 
it's good to see that you do have these units. It's great for later. Um, Seer Jundar and Calcestis obviously get part of the Gemite Cal farm. And it's a very, very accessible farm because it only requires gear 12 to unlock. So I would recommend getting the shards because he's going to come back and he'll be in the journey guide full time around June, late June, I believe. So being ready for a round then would be quite nice. It doesn't require a heck of a lot of investment. Like I said, it's just seven star gear 12 will get the unlock. You've already got JML. JML with Jedi Knight Calcestis is really good consolidation of power. Or you can separate it with your large roster of Jedi and, you know, have a Basti lead Jedi Knight Calcestis team that will be able to kill things like Malgus. And then you'd still have JML to take out some bigger fish like JMK or Ray and 5v5s and that sort of thing. Probably not with a current Datacron set, but hey, you're probably not looking at enemies with massive, uh, massive amounts of Datacron investment just now. Phew. All right, let's check out your bounty hunters. The bounty hunters. I'd really like to see these guys at relic levels, but I appreciate that not everybody has got the spare capacity to do so. Thank you. Oh. Oh, thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. That's very generous of you. That's very generous of you. So it's good to see that you've got an operational bounty hunter team, but honestly, with Grief Karga and with OG Mando, it really takes it to the next level because you're able to take advantage of the fact that Mando disintegrates. That's a no revive instant kill. And between Bosk and Grief Karga and Mando, it's a lot of turn meter generation, frenzy from Bosk. You've got heals and you've got retribution and you've got, you know, mass assists out the wazoo. Makes for very fast contracts with unique capabilities if you catch my drift buddy and that is time up good sir that is time up any final questions before we move on it's a good roster it's a good roster obviously a few directions that you could go you could finish off that ray you could finish off jabber you could finish well definitely finish off your uh, your um your fleet farms that you're doing but yeah jabber profundity maybe go for ray cleaning up things like getting Zori, you'd be in a good spot. You wish you had Taran. I mean, Taran's such a great unit. Twist. Taran is such a great unit. I like throwing rocks at Ray's forehead. You've seen that many a time on the old Grand Arena. On the old Grand Arena. Man, if you haven't, if you guys have not watched the, um, the VOD of yesterday's GAC, I'd recommend it because that was a hell of a battle. Hell of a battle. Thoroughly enjoyed that, that finals. It was sweaty. Sweaty is the best way to describe it, I think. Uh, just waiting around for Drew to true. One second, but uh, looks like looks like we're good to move on. Looks like we're good to move on. Okay, Anthar, are you in the chat? You're going to farm Profundity next. Good choice, Drew 2 True. Good choice. Good choice. You've got strong development inside of your ancillary teams and stuff like that. would like to see a little bit more focus in that top-end fleet and in the GLs. Woohoo! First in fleet. Beer! Is he drunk? How you doing? Angthar is indeed present. Awesome. You are next on our list, good sir. Next on our list. What's happened to my list? It's disappeared. There it is. So, Sithonator in-game Angthar on the old Twitcheroo. Let's get you up. That's right, we're getting Angthor up. Hmm. Just looking for where you should focus. Currently working on unaligned force user and saw teams. All right, okay. Interesting. I, I hope this is a late game account. <laughs> hey, Ardahan, how are you doing today? We're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing good. All right, so I'm going to start the old timer here. We're going to start the old timer and we're going to get going, baby. All righty then. So, Sithonator, 11 million. You are just a hair shorter than I am in galactic power just now. I'm at 11.3, so you're right behind me. You're hot on my heels, as it were. 
you're running in with Bane R9 on that. Bane with the triple zeta. Ooh, that is some sexy, sexy business, baby. I love to see it. And you're rocking up in Kyber 2. Congratulations. Start swimming with the big dogs. Swim with the big dogs. All right. Taking a look at this, the first thing that becomes immediately apparent is that you have got almost every GL missing that Lord Vader. I know people like to call him Lord Failure, but when you've got seven GLs out of eight, you might as well get that last one, Anktha. Why bro's even here? He doesn't. He already have like almost every unit? No, no, there's loads at 11 million that you don't have. I will speak from experience. So we're missing missing Lord Vader. So that should obviously be a consideration for you. Truth be told. Um, obviously, you should have most of the fleets. I can see you've got all of them. You just haven't maxed out the stars, and that's perfectly acceptable. Leviathan really, really, really makes a difference at seven stars. I'm not suggesting that you start, you know, throwing crystals at it to get them to seven stars. I'm sure we will most likely get a capital ship in the next eight months. Uh, what do you consider a late-term account? Uh, late game, I would say... I would say something that's around here, 10, 11 mil. GP is late game. End game, 13 mil plus. Mid game, 8 mil plus. It's kind of it's kind of variable. It it GP is a hard metric to go by, so I don't want to get distracted while I'm doing this roster review. So, yeah, so Leviathan, nearly maxed out. It is a big difference. Once you get it to 7 stars, you get that ability to build up additional ferocity so your ships actually do some damage and you'll be able to kill that incoming ship with the first special from the leviathan so it's useful but i'm not necessarily suggesting that you actually go out there and push for it now you did mention that you are working on a saw team i'm on board with the online force users that was the other team that you said you're working what did i my bad um i'm on board with online force users but i'm a little bit I'm a little bit anxious, personally, about a saw team. Online force users, you've got Tyron Malikos, you've got Ahsoka Tano Fulcrum, you know? This is a very worthwhile team to invest in. Sia Junda, Cal Kestis, you can just throw him in with OG Kylo Ren, or you can throw him with Crew, or, you know, if you're being really spicy, you can throw him in with Starkiller, but that's very much a team worth investing in. If you're investing in saw just for the Chiricron, I would say don't bother. I know that sounds weird. I know it sounds weird, but honestly, th there's not a hell of a lot of time left on the Sawcron or the Chirrut Cron, I should say. And after that, like, Chirrut's not great. Baze is worth having, for sure. Baze is worth having. You have got Leia. She's missing her ult, and that's okay. I'm sure you'll get ult for Leia in due course. Maestor, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the tribe. But... I'd, I'd have to ask you if a saw team is worthwhile. Now, alternatively, if you're doing saw for TB and this is like a guild push, then I'm completely on board with it. Yeah, crack on. You know, you do that. You don't even have the Chir Datacron, so I, so you can put saw on the back burner. But yeah, I, I would definitely recommend not prioritizing saw. Like for me personally, there are other things that are more important for you to finish up on. Most notably, you don't have Lord Vader. Get Lord Vader. That's, that, I mean, that's a pretty clear cut thing. You don't have Malakos. Malakos is phenomenal. Phenomenal. And the good thing about Malakos is, you know, his unaligned force user team takes out the toughest teams in this game without being tied to a Datacron. His, him with his Omicrons holds all that power. He just gets enhanced. He gets extra juice, extra squeeze, if you know what I mean, from just having Datacrons on him. He's not tied to them like a Chiricron is. So focus there. Get that team up and honestly forget about it. So I don't have Sora or Chirrut. I've got the Kron, I think, but I don't have them because it's not important. You know, I, I'm doing well enough in Kyber 1 without it. You know what I mean? So I, I don't think you should prioritize that over pushing for stuff like Lord Vader. How's your bad batch looking? Okay, this is understandable. You should be pushing for Lord Vader. I think it can wait until after you've got Malakos. But let's not forget that when you get these guys up, you're also powering up the Marauder. And the Marauder is a really good ship. I can't see it from here because it's not my roster. The Marauder is a really good ship and elevates your Galactic Republic fleet to killing things that they don't normally kill or making them hold or at least banner snipe against things that they don't normally banner snipe. It's definitely... Why Empire? Galactic Republic. Um, it's definitely worth doing it just for them. You know, yeah, you'll get a little bit of use out of the Marauder with like gear eight, gear nine, bad batch. But once they get those relic levels on there, this thing hits so damn hard. 
it hits heavy. Um, so yeah, I think once you finish your unaligned force user team, you've already got the core there. Your seer is done, kind of. You know, eventually you'll need her at relic seven for Zepho. Um, your Genmite Cal is Relic 3. Uh, Genmite Cal. OG Cal is Relic 3. That's okay. It's enough to have a Datacron on there. I would prefer more, but it's not a massive priority. And I believe you had uh, you had another character, didn't you? Was it Ahsoka Tana Fulcrum? I think your Ahsoka Tana Fulcrum was already kind of invested in. So you're kind of halfway there with that team anyway. It's just your Malakos needs a lot of loving. And that's okay. After you finished up that team, I would get started on the Lord Vader farm, starting with the Bad Batch. I know it sucks because they require 1600 Cairo tech to get to relics, but it's worth it. And you've already got one of them done. You've already got Echo done. Did you start on Bad Batch and then take a break? What's the story there? How come How come your Echo is relic and the others are just chilling at gear 8, gear 9? We'll get off the Bad Batch right now. Get all the way off that Bad Batch. Fast Echo lets you kill soft Qui-Gon Jinn teams in Gak. Okay, fair enough. So it was just, it was a it was a tool for you. It was like, this gives me the tech that I need. No pun, I know it's Echo, not tech. This gives me the capabilities to take out Qui-Gon Jinn teams. Absolutely fine. And you're absolutely right. Once you hit any sort of relic levels, or even technically gear 13, you have all of the additional speed on that character, and him going first is all that really matters. Uh, uh, particularly against the Qui-Gon Jinn team because you're going to get that TM boost. So the others don't necessarily need a whole lot of gear. So it's nice. I like it. Echo solid plug and play for Galactic Republic. He actually is. And th for a time, we were using him as part of a JMK um, counter to Jabba. Counter to Jabba. Le it's less important these days, but he was kind of useful there, being able to cleanse off all those buffs. If there are more to... Is the Marauder best as a reinforcement on the starting on the front? If you're using it offensively, it's in the front line. Jar Jar. Um, I love the fact that you took Bane to Relic 9. It's not entirely necessary. It's not at all necessary. But you've gone balls deep on Darth Bane. And I'm totally here for it. Because Bane is probably the most enjoyable character that we've had in a long, long time. And Wolfie is still disappointed. I'm joking. What did he call it? Like, looks like a chicken? Is it a chicken? I mean... He's the most terrifying chicken that I've ever seen. If that if that was sitting in a in a chicken hutch staring at me, I would be scared for my very existence. But hey, that's just me. That's just me. Hey Amy, how are you doing today? Owl, that was it. Owl. Chicken, owl, same thing, right? Feathered creatures. Bane and Reaver have helped you in GAC for sure. Yep, definitely, definitely. I like that you've only got the two onis on Reaver. I'm assuming the one on the special is the one that you're missing. No, you've actually got Reckless Sweep, so you're missing Driven by Revenge. I think you're missing the wrong one. Oh no, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Maybe it is Driven by Revenge. If whatever one makes you do the extra damage. Whale, Goldfish, same thing. Both in water. Exactly MMM. You know. Mmm. Hissy Fit had popped into chat and asked about the owl that we were just looking at. I love it. I love it, man. Absolutely love it. Um, yeah. Tip five pounds, 561, 843, 743, slash, slash, what do I focus on? What do I focus on, indeed? Thank you kindly for the donation. I shall get to you anon. All right, cool. So, yeah, absolutely love to see the Inquisitors. I mean, you're at 11 million. You're going to have a lot. You're going to have a lot. No focus yet on like the latest marquees and stap and stuff like that. I don't think you need to worry too much about Bo-Katan Mandalore. She's apparently coming back every month. You can slow farm your way to her. Do you get her before Lord Vader? Probably not, in my opinion. She's good, but Lord Vader is better still for everybody's roster and for yours in particular. I like that you've got Jedi Knight Calcastus unlocked. Would like to see some relic levels on him so you can actually use him, but not massively, massively important unless you really are trying to push into Zepho. I guess. How many reviews in the queue? I'll let you know in a second, Chester. I'll let you know in just one shake of a porcupine's tail. You're nearly done with Paz Vizsla, so maybe you can start thinking about maybe next month unlocking bo Mandalore. All right, just having a quick glance over here. Keller and Beck does need some loving, but I like that you put the double Zetas on them. Double Zeta Omega at gear nine. Buddy, that was a choice. That was a choice. All right, cool. 
Cool, cool, cool. And you've got the uh, dark side mandos over here chilling in case they can pick off something in uh, GAC. You had like 400 Zeta mats at one point. I, I remember those days too, buddy. They're, they're like a distant dream now. A distant, distant dream. All right. Well, thank you so much, Anktha. That was, uh, that was a fun roster to review. I think you're in a really solid position. 11 million, you're going to have a lot of toys to play with. I'd just try and wrap up and draw a line under those priority farms and then start having a little bit of fun with your roster. You're going to be in that great position where you can farm whatever you like. It's great. It's great. And by whatever you like, I mean Gungans, Queen Armadala, and, you know, Padawan Ben and stuff. Cool. Thank you, Angthar. Really appreciate your time, dude. Okay, so Chester. You have asked how many reviews are in the queue. This is our current review list. We have just done Sithinator or Anktha. He has just had his roster review done. We are going through all of the yeses currently, and I'll need to refresh this list. But as you can see, there are quite a few reviews in line, quite a few reviews that need to be doing. Let's just go ahead and refresh. Uh, there we go. Sirens apparently submitted earlier, just didn't mark as priority. Okay, so next is Emil. Emil, are you in the chat? Emil, are you in chat, buddy? Emil Serpinator. So Serpinator is a meal. Yes, it is. Of course it is. It popped up right over here. Amazing. Uh, Amy Taylor. Amy Taylor, can I do yours? Uh, well, we have to go through the order that it comes through. So essentially, essentially what's happening is we're going through the list in order of um, application, but the priority reviews go first. Priority reviews go first. So currently we're on a meal. After a meal will be next in line, which looks like it's going to be Mischievous Grievous. And then it's going to be Sirens. Uh, oh, we've just had some extra come in. And then it's going to be Maester. So this is updating dynamically through the links that we have above. Okay. Oh, Maester. You... Um, okay. You said donate as anonymous. Oh right, okay, fine. I'll 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 double check that for you later. Okay, you're fine to wait. That's cool. We're doing ten minute roster reviews here, so hopefully I should get through a good chunk of them. All right. Hopefully we should get through a good chunk of them, which will be cool. So Emil is saying you're about to get profundity at the end of the month. You're focusing hard on conquest for now. You got gold crate right after you hit four million. That's good work, dude. Four million GP, and you're like, yep. Hitting gold crate straight away. Uh, for the last Bane one and now for Padme, I will get both of them. Yes, you will. Oh, yes. You have done all the proving grounds except for Malgus. You definitely need a team for him. I wonder what I should focus next. Jabba? I mean, th the fact that you're asking Jabba is probably hint enough. I lack Galactic Republic. Um... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I like Galactic Republic team and a Jedi team. Also need to get Inquisitors for the guild, but got 2k Cairo stock to each. Wow, 2k Cairo, that's huge, dude. You're a spender for Kairos and for crystals. Finally, got Bombardier 300 shards. You got the full drop? You stole my drop? You stole my drop, Emil. <laughs> so you're considering going to farm Gungans. Any ideas on how to spread the farm? I can still do the shard gamble for the warrior. You've got 49 out of 65 on him. Okay, I'll touch on... Let's let's firstly reset the timer. I'll touch on Gungans first. We'll get them out of the way. So, if you're looking to do it, you have to try and... If, if you really want to push for it, you'll have to focus on the Phalanx, which is coming on Thursday. That's when you need to do it, because that's most likely going to be the, the one character that you've got the least amount of time to farm. We don't know when Jar Jar is coming. I have a feeling he's going to be very soon, but what we can assume is that he will be dropping around at least June-July period, which is the theorized time for the new raid to actually drop. Might be August. I'm thinking late June, early July, maybe mid-July at a stretch, which means we should have a run-up over the next couple of months where it'll be available, okay? So the Phalanx, you've got Bulmadir, which is huge because he's, he's the one that we had two weeks ago. 
If you focus on Phalanx, then you can spread the farm on Boss Nass and on Tarples as they become free-to-play farmable or get them through shipments. That's the best way to do it as far as cost efficiency is concerned. I wouldn't necessarily use your crystals now to get Tarples. I'd, I'd leave Tarples for now and allocate whatever money you were going to spend on that towards getting um, Phalanx when he comes in, 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 a little later on this week. Okay. Do I have to put my account ally code into that document? Yes, that is absolutely right, Amy. So you just, um, there should be a pinned chat message that takes you over to a Google form that lets you fill that out and it adds you to that list. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right, good stuff. 4.6 million, huge slacker. All right, let's take it out. Let's check it out. I hope I hope that was useful to you, good sir, Emil. Hey, Roy, how you doing today, buddy? Hope you're having a good day. All right. So I'm assuming you said you're a spender. I'm assuming we're going to see a, quite a bit of light speed bundle action going on here. No worries, Serpinator. No worries, buddy. So if we take a look at, say, resistance, am I going to see? Yeah, we're going to see. Oh, look at look at you, dude. Getting the Zori Bliss up there with the, the Omicron. OK, so. This, this is the problem that you're going to find yourself in. I bet you are broke of Zetas right now because of having a large influx of stuff. Like you've got Starkiller, you've got Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, you're about to get Ray, for example. You've got Captain Rex down here. That is a hell of a lot of development in a short amount of time. That Zetas simply don't catch up that quick. You know, so that's going to be a consideration for you. I would say because you are so close to Ray that you should probably focus on her before getting Jabba. Okay. Hey, peace out, Arkan. Thank you for joining once again, my friend. Thank you for joining once again. So let's take a look at ships before we make any wider decisions. You've got the Radus up there. Did you manage to get involved in the comeuppance? You did, and you got it all the way to seven stars already. That's huge, dude. That's huge. So you can probably actually get some use out of your Radus fleet, um, which is nice, which is nice. But obviously, capital ships a little bit thin on the ground for you, and that's totally fine. So how I'm envisaging this going, if you really want to push for Gungans, that's a time sensitive thing. If you're going to make the most out of it and try and get Jar Jar unlocked first time round, you want to be able to hit that ground running immediately, right? So that should, I'll leave that decision up to you as to whether or not you should do it, because it's got to be a per personal preference. Five pounds, you're the best Belau. I'm the best Belau. Not sure what that means, but thank you kindly. <laughs> Maxero 07 tipped five pounds. Thank you. Um, okay, so one of the things you should be considering is an exec push. Um, actually, let me double check. Did you say something about fleet pushing here? You're about to get profundity. Okay, that's fine. Profundity end of month. That's huge. That's huge. That's even better, in my opinion. It's, be it's a better fleet to have early on in particular compared to exec in my opinion because it does start working you towards things like jml but it also works at a better success rate at low stars compared to the likes of the executor so you're about to get profundity you don't necessarily need to push for executor straight away it's not a bad thing to do especially as someone who by your own volition you say you are a little bit of a whale you know and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that valter it means you are the bald guy I am indeed the bald guy. Duen Grabla Engelsk. Yes, indeed. Um, you don't necessarily need to push for exec right after you finished up on profundity, but it's not actually a bad thing. I would say make sure you try to finish off, cherry pick those those farms that are already pretty much done. Like your ray is basically done. You've got that Zori there. I would recommend getting to relic levels so that you can have that whole team relic and eventually start getting those datacrons. You said yourself, you gold box within conquest. If you're gold boxing, you can farm datacrons. That's going to massively elevate your capabilities in any sort of PvP environment. If it's in GAC, I'll help you climb up a couple of divisions, maybe even some leagues within GAC. And that's a little bit more crystal income for you. And typically speaking, I find a lot of whales are inclined by the uh, competitive element. Competitive element. <clears throat> the one. <laughs> uh, 
Um, so consider consider finishing off after you've done profundity, finishing off that ray farm. Now, I always, always recommend pushing for Jabber just because of the benefits to rosters. And one of the things that you are going to find when you whale is, yes, you have a Zeta shortage, but your mods are going to be spread so thin, it's like your toast has got no flavor on it because all the butter is just so thinly spread across it. There's no peanut butter there. There's no jam. It's just lacking flavor because you don't have the mods to invest in the team. Jabber helps with that. And it is probably the biggest help in the entire game as far as uh, mods are concerned. So you have to try and prioritize Jabba at some point. The way you juggle this is entirely up to you. If you choose to ignore Gungans, it's going to give you some breathing space, okay? I don't necessarily think that Gungans is the right choice for your roster, but if you want to chase the latest and greatest, at the end of the day, this is a game people should be in having fun and enjoying themselves, right? You will need them eventually for the new raid, and that will make you enticing to larger guilds. They'll be like, oh, this guy's already got Jar Jar. He's going to be able to perform really, really well in this brand new raid. I put the thing in the dock. Thank you, Amy. Well done. Good stuff. We should, well, I, I'm going to try and get through as many, many as I can today. That's why the, that's why the time, I think the time is working really well, actually. It's keeping me focused of, of most importance. So, yeah. <clears throat> Jabba will help you with that uh, with the mods. Gungans is not necessarily something I think you should be focusing on, but if you want to and you, you think, well, I've already got that 330 pull, maybe we'll just push for the others. It's only three more characters. Then go ahead if you want to. I don't think it's the best thing. OK, so finish Profundity, finish Ray, push for Jabba, push for Exec. Part of me wants to say that you should try and get an Exec farm in there um, because the faster you get Galactic Legends and the top tier ships, the better off you're going to be able to perform overall. The thing I have no investment in Galactic Republic or GG Droids. That's why I thought I could focus on Gungans for the raids. Yeah. Yeah. You said you're also getting Queen Armadala, right? Excuse me. Your gold boxing right now. So your second boxing, you'll be able to unlock Queen Armadala in a relatively good amount of time. I don't know if you buy the Conquest Pass or the Pass Plus or anything like that. Um, but you'll be able to unlock her in good time. And they are obviously getting two marquees, which are most likely going to be incredibly beneficial in the new raid. That is Master Qui-Gon Jinn, which I imagine we either get early next month or before the end of this month. Um, and then it will be Padawan Old uh, Padawan Old Ben. Padawan Old Ben. Padawan Ben Kenobi. You unlock her on the fourth month. See, that's kind of huge because she's going to be a unit that is used in the new raid. And it's incredibly likely that she's going to be a very good unit in the new raid. It keeps me in check. Yeah, it's a 10 minute timer, Roy. Because otherwise I'll spend 40, 45 minutes per roster review and then nobody gets their reviews done. It was going on, Dren. Um, so that's that's a consideration. I do understand you're like, I want to do well in the new raid. And if that is your focus, then absolutely. You can push into Gungans and they're going to be, I, I can almost guarantee you that they will be the most useful team in the new raid. CG has more or less said so. And it just kind of makes sense as well, right? From a thematic perspective that the Gungans will be the best team. But I can imagine that Queen Amidala, specifically with her two new marquees, are also going to be really high up on that priority listing. GG Droids is an easy thing to farm, and it feeds into getting gas, which feeds into Galactic Republic. It's kind of like, there'll be easy farms to do, but it's not necessarily something I recommend you focus on straight away. What do they think of that GC army? They're not. Thank you. Priority roster review your stream. Just started watching you recently. Oh, cool. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. Um, so, yeah, I think I think you are in a good position because you are whaling and you're whaling correctly. You've made smart decisions early on. I love that you went for a fast profundity. Most people go executor. I actually think profundity is the better choice. I think profundity is the better early game choice if you can deal with the extra Relic 9, which, of course, you can. Um, so I happen to like that. You just have to make that choice. Gungans in the new raid, it's going to be about three, four months out, right? The is quiet on the stream. Is it too quiet, Night Fox, or is it is it um, is it just loud enough? So Serpinator, let me know if you have any final questions before we move on. Cool. 
could you suggest to me a Galactic Republic Jedi team? You're farming Keller and Beck. Keller and Beck is probably the most powerful Galactic Republic Jedi team if we're not looking at JMK. So let's actually go by GR. So if you are going, if you want to do Keller and Beck, which I think is a really good shout because he is a very, very powerful character and the characters that he uses with him are old characters. So they don't require a whole lot of Cairo tech and stuff like that. I would recommend you go for Keller and Beck, Jedi Knight Anakin, Mace is a really, really good shout. Especially, like, if you want to, you can throw on Omicrons on him, and then it helps in TW. Keller and Beck's got really good TW Omicron. Throw it in with Mace Windu. You double up on that really solid Omicron investment. Um, after that, you can use stuff like Grandmaster Yoda. He's huge. You don't necessarily need a tank. It can be quite useful, but um, it's not entirely necessary. Qui-Gon Jinn... If it wasn't for the fact that we're getting Master Qui-Gon Jinn, I would say, hey, go go, Qui-Gon Jinn 100%. I have a feeling this Qui-Gon Jinn isn't going to be on the named list. Or if he is, he'll be like Galactic Republic focused, not Jedi focused or some nonce like that, nonsense like that. But he's still useful in GAC for his Omicron. He's an older character, so he's easy to gear. It is a consideration, okay? So Qui-Gon Jinn, good Omicron, TW Omicron with Keller and Beck, TW Omicron with Mace Windu, Jedi Knight Anakin, fantastic. Thank you. Guild push now for GLs or GL ships. Started layer but undecided. Would love better GAC defense. Okay, cool. Thank you so much for the donation. We'll get round to you. So... <clears throat> to recap, to recap, Keller and Beck, Jedi Knight Anakin, Qui-Gon Jinn, Mace Windu, you can go down the route of Grandmaster Yoda, Ahsoka Tano you've already invested in, which I think is a good shout, because it will feed into your Galactic Republic fleet with the Negotiator, yeah? I think that's fine. I think that's fine as far as GR Jedi Squad is concerned. It's not the best Galactic Republic Jedi Squad, because then we'd start looking at things like, oh, have you got gas? Have you got Kiadi Mundi? Have you got JMK? You know, it but it's it's good enough to get where you need to go. You know what I mean? And it gives you a little bit of crossover for fleet. So Anakin, ship. Sokotano, ship. GK, capital ship, worth getting eventually. Don't necessarily have to get him for this. Mace, fantastic all round these days. Qui-Gon Jinn, you'll all of a sudden be able to throw an Omicron on him, use him as a leadership within GAC, Keller and Beck within TW once this Omicron set disappears. It'll all work out quite nicely. All right. Cam would be a perfect addition, but he's way too expensive, unfortunately. And I'm not talking expensive monetary value. You can't really wail yourself to Keller and Beck, uh, to Kiari Mundi. Um, it's just, it's a long farm for you unless you're hitting light side geo. No worries, Serpent Acer. You've got a sick roster, dude. you got a sick roster. Cup is the best? Yes, Amy. Completely agree. Level 69 cup. Totally the best. Totally the best. Hey, Johnny, I got to sleep. Busy day tomorrow. Whenever you get the chance, could you give me a review before stream ends? If possible, have a great night. Hey, have a great night, Johnny. All the best, buddy. We'll try to get you uh, on, a, on a roster review. Okay, cool. So thank you so much, Emil slash Serpinator. Really do appreciate that, dude. Let's go ahead and mark you as complete. Next on our priority listing is... Oh, whoa, 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 hold up. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Just refresh this, making sure that I'm hitting all the ones with those yeses. Mischievous Grievous. Mischievous Grievous, are you in the chat, buddy? It looks like you are next up in line. You are here. Good stuff. Good stuff. Let's get the uh, copy that ally code over real quick. I'll throw this in, and then I'm going to take a look. Just double check. Mischievous Grievous, that does indeed look like your account. 2.3 million. One of the smaller accounts that we've got to review. I always like reviewing small accounts, because that's where you get some of the flavor, you know? So, what are you saying? You are close to Ray, but lacking in Zeta and Relic Map Department. Understandable, my friend. Understandable. You're really close to JML. Due to your lack of resources, you are considering the path of farming the rest of the Assault Battle teams. I think I need... To some help regarding the unlock order. You'd like to go JML Jabba C this year and maybe Profundity. Okay, that's a little bit to unpack. What I'd say first and foremost, 
focus focus right now do not don't swap don't f swap farms you are 2.3 million and apparently you're close to ray and to jml make sure you keep that focus because oh hang on wait a minute let's reset this timer to keep me honest so when you say you're close to ray let's take an actual look at this resistance you're not close to ray you're not close to ray let me isn't that what you said you're close to ray I am close to Ray, but lacking in the Zetamat department. Do you mean you're close to JTR Ray? Let's go check out First Order. No. Then I'm confused. I am confused. Different account. I did the form twice by accident. Oh, is this the wrong account? Is this the wrong account, Grievous? Ah, uh, okay. Okay, okay. Hold on. Let me, let me stop that timer and restart it. I was like, hold up. That doesn't, that doesn't, that doesn't track. Right account, wrong form. Ah, okay. I see this one down here. I see this one down here. Is this the one that you, ah, okay. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. I saw Mischievous Grievous. You've got two entries here. Let me just delete this one. Let me just delete this one, because that, that's confusing me. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Let's try this again. Free to play. Recently un unlocked Executor. 400 crystals indefinitely, every day. Huge. Huge. Okay, so I'm unsure on what to go for first. I'm thinking Jabba, as I have Boba and Han up already. That makes sense. I can get a CLS team up via Jedi Knight Luke, and I can prep for profundity with the Outrider and Falcon. I have a problem away from diverting from the core farm. Radis team, Night Sisters. Night Sisters? The trash. I'm joking. I'm joking. Chill. Hakuni Yatatas. Um... I have a problem of diverting away from the core farm, Radis team, Night Sisters, etc. And I'm wondering whether I should farm Negotiator with Get2 or Kairos as fleets are quite strong at the moment. Okay. Okay, so let's let's summarize this. You've just started hitting um, your fleet. So you get first in fleet every day now, getting that 400 crystals a day, and that's huge. You don't know where you want to go for first. You're thinking you might go Jabber as you've got some of the requirements already, or you might go Jedi Knight Luke and start farming the profundity, that sort of thing. You don't know if you should get the negotiator with your get two, but you already get fleet. So those are good questions. Those are good questions. When it comes to negotiator, negotiator is a very, very good fleet. You will always, always need Chirotech forever for the rest of your days. You will not always need the shards of the negotiator and the shards of the malevolence. I'd recommend you try to get those knocked out just because, yes, your executive certainly works and gets you to first in Fleet Arena right now. Eventually, people are going to catch up. And more importantly, when you start climbing in Grand Arena, you're going to need more than one fleet eventually to win in general. In order to ac accomplish that, you're going to need to have things like Negotiator and Malevolence and eventually Profundity and Leviathan and Chimera and Radus and Finalizer. You, you catch my drift? So, yes, I do recommend that you push for keep keep spending your get two on those two fleets. Generally speaking, I usually advise people unlock malevolence to four stars or five stars. I think five stars is the unlock, right? Unlock your malevolence. Oh, you've done that. And then get a seven star negotiator. So you're already halfway there, buddy. You're already halfway there. Get your negotiator. Get your negotiator, take him to seven stars, and then get these last two stars on the Malev afterwards. Love that you got the executor and you get first in fleet. That is the most important thing anybody can do in the game. Full stop is get to fleet. Get first in fleet if you can as quickly as possible and hang on to that for dear life. I just realized we haven't started the timer. Um, I'm going to knock off a minute of this. Hold up. Let's pause it and put it down to nine. Boop, boop. Okay, cool. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, yes, you will eventually need to have all the fleets, so make sure you get that negotiator geared up. Don't ever neglect fleets because you need to have that flexibility going forward. All right? Oh, oh God, yeah. Clicks in the neck. Clicks in the absolute neck. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. 
I love this. For a really early game account, you've got that executor up and running. Now, as, as it comes down to what you should push for next, necessarily, I remember you saying you didn't know if you wanted to go for Jabber or for CLS. Personally, I prefer Jabber as I feel it's a, it's a better long-term farm. Let me just make sure that I'm getting this correctly. Jabba has a lot more to it than just Boba and Han, unfortunately. CLS is a nice team to have. JKL into JML kind of works alongside going for the profundity and stuff like that. So it's not a bad consolidation farm. Um, it's just, it's a long road. It's a long road. I think what you need to do right now is try to capitalize as much as you can on having that first place in fleet. 400 crystals a day is incredibly juicy, especially if you're a free to play player. So you can't supplement that by, you know, getting the odd light speed bundle and, and speeding up your progress elsewhere. You know what I mean? Excuse me. <clears throat> so yeah, Han Solo is already there at Relic 5. I think you need him Relic 8 for Jabba, and then you'd need some various other Hut Cartel. What I would suggest, and this is something for you to play around with, just have a little bit of a noodle inside of your brain there a little bit, is um, have a consideration, have a consideration for pushing into C. You've got Executor already, so that already sort of unlocks some of the requirements that you've got your Piet sort of done. C is a relatively easy farm. It might be a little bit tricky for you, and the overall benefit to the account is not as great as it is in a light, late game account, but it gives you some offensive playability in early game GAC. Uh, aside from Chupio, Jabber is going to make you relic every CLS member anyway, because if JKL wreck... I mean, Jabber and and JML go together as a really good farm. And I do think that people should be pushing profundity at the same time, because well, not at the same time, as part of that wider farm, you know? Even though you've got that exec already up there, getting that profundity is just like, and you don't need to seven star the profundity either. It works very, very well at four star. And like I said, there's a crossover between JML and Jabber that works very, very nicely. Jabber, I feel is better for accounts overall. Just the overall viability, it's better um, overall in PvP environments than JML. JML is very, very strong, but is almost predominantly just an offensive GL for, you know, TW for GAC. It does have some level of defensive viability, but typically you save him to kill whatever you want, basically. Uh, whereas Jabba can work on defense very, very well. He's got a lot of sustain to him and he does fully heal when he hits his ultimate, which can make multi-tapping a Jabba team a very difficult endeavor if you don't happen to have something that can heal immunity him and ability block him and just control him a little bit, if you know what I mean. So if you are going to push down that route and not go down for the C route, I would recommend going Jabba before. But Jabba and JML pair well very nicely with a Profundity farm because of the extra requirement for getting Amelin Holdo and some of the... Uh, uh, not Amelin Holdo, Mon Mothma. <laughs> I say in Holdo, I mean Mon Mothma. Mon Mothma and some Rebel Fighters. Um, yeah, cool. I like the BAM over here as well. And you do have some investment in your Imperial Troopers as well. This is going back to a potential dip into C. You've got Piet. Star Conveyors, these only need to go to Relic 3 for C. And then, you know, if you just get your Dark Trooper up to Relics, and then my usual advice for the fifth is always going to be Range Trooper. He is smashingly good. Smashingly good. Um, that's a consideration if you don't want to be hyper-focused on going for big-ticket, longer farms like Jabba, JML, and Profundity. Those things are very, very long. You know, even getting stuff like Hoda and Wumper. Although I think I saw you have Wumper already. Is that right? Yeah, you do already have Wumper. That's kind of huge. It's kind of huge. I like that. And you've got five star Hermit Yoda. So you've already made really good progress on those two farms. So hats off to you. This is really cool for a 2.3 mil account. I like it. I like the focus. Exec rush. And then thinking about what GLs to drip it, dip into. I would just advise not to... Don't forget about fleet just because you're like, oh, I get my first every day. Getting first every day is great. You need to keep first every day and use that to power up into get other game modes that give you crystals or other sorts of rewards like, you know, raid rewards or TB rewards or GAC for crystals. If you catch my drift, Mr. Grievous, sir. Alrighty. Alrighty. Oh, we've even got some Phoenix investment over here. That's kind of sick. Let's, uh, let's take a quick look on your old Phoenix. There they are. 
The Phoenix, you have got some level of investment. Should you spend crystals on exec shards or Kairos? <sighs> Honestly, Honestly, you don't necessarily need to have your exec beyond five stars. Five stars gives you that extra reinforcement, which is nice. But if you are already claiming first in fleet, I wouldn't spend that on getting to five stars. Like, Kairos and gear in general is incredibly expensive. I, I would like to prioritize making sure you're hitting your refreshes every day more than anything. As in, the most important one is getting your Cantina energy refreshed three times a day to keep your signal data incoming. You know, you need to have so much signal data to pay for things like, you know, all the relic levels that you're getting. Yes, Kyrotech is a bit of a consideration, but if you are triple refreshing your regular energy, you can make sure that you're funneling some of that spare normal energy into farming Kyrotechs instead of buying it straight up with crystals. There are some really good value ones within the Jawa Scavenger deals to keep an eye out for. Sometimes I think it's on the 1600 crystal node. You can get like one of the packs gives you 50 Kyrotechs and 25. That's the, I, I believe that's the best value Kyrotech you can get for crystal income because it gives you essentially a free like 25 additional Kyrotech. Oh. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend going for the stars. I would try to use those additional crystals to widen your roster. OK, widen the roster to hit as many like getting things like, OK, we've got our executor. Let's get Jabba. We've got executor and Jabba. Let's get profundity to make sure that we don't lose our fleet crystal income. Keep that up. All of a sudden you've got Jabba, executor and profundity. You're like, this is great. Still keeping that fleet fleet crystal income. I'm climbing higher in GAC. Let's push that into getting JML. Now you've got, you know, you've got profundity, you've got executor, you've got Jabba, you've got JML. You're like, oh, I can dip in and get C real quick and build out an Imperial Trooper team. All of a sudden, your roster starts to take really solid shape and you are miles ahead of your your peers, not necessarily in the grand sense of everybody in the game, but against anybody else that was playing at the same time as you, you're probably progressing incredibly well. How are your mods? We'll do a mod check for you. It's like... Checking for mods on this sort of thing is... I mean, I, I can check your... I wish I had the mod button here, but I don't. Like, I, I, I typically wouldn't... I mean, if that's what you want to look at it. 344, given that you are 2.3 million GP, 344 and Admiral Pia is actually... It's quite impressive. It's quite impressive, given the age of your roster and the time that you've been playing the game. 344 is really not bad. Obviously, Piet is a character that you want to have as fast as possible. You've gone for a speed set and potency set as the secondary. That's really good. Maybe you can land that days. What did your potency actually get up to? So potency at 69%. Could be higher, obviously. The only way that would really work is if you had a potency primary on here. But I have a feeling that you've gone for maximum level of speed instead of trying to find that potency cross, right? Which I'm fine with. Speed is more important than potency on Pierre. That's, you, you should be proud of that, dude. You should be really proud of that. Um, I mean, when it comes to... I'm going to look at this in a team concept. In a team concept, because that's how this would be going. The only fast guy that matters mostly is Piet and you're missing the relic levels on the rest of the team dark trooper should be modded for offense you will want some speed on him though having him too slow means you can't really get that turn me to train rolling so don't like I'm not saying prioritize all your speed mods onto the imperial trooper team but you can't massively neglect it because there's no point in having a fast Piet if the rest of the team doesn't take a turn you know what I mean 69 potency is peak. 69 potency is peak. Yeah. So something to consider. Something to consider. I think the modding on Pierre is really good. But maybe you use him in just an Empire team. I don't know. Maybe use him in an Empire team. We do have Palpatine, but there's no Zeta leadership. You've got Thrawn as well. I suppose you used your Phoenix with Captain Rex to sort of make that stuff happen. Um, I'll look at the modding on Vader, and then we'll wrap it up real quick. Let me know if you have any other questions in the comments. Yeah. So... Offense set and potency set, I'd say this is a good setup. You can do speed, you can do crit damage, but so long as we're getting some... I ah, see, you do have a potency cross here, but it's 12 speed, so let's check it out. 236, perhaps a little bit on the slower side, but he doesn't necessarily have to be lightning fast, and I am assuming if you take him up against things like Jedi or Rebels, then you're able to get a lot of additional bonus speed thanks to his unique. Okay, so Vader gains... 
Vader gains 8 speed for every Rebel and Jedi enemy, as well as every Empire and Sith ally or something like that. Empire and Sith ally. So that 236 speed can very easily be over 300, um, depending on the team that you take in with him and who you're facing off against. What's the offense looking like? 8k offense is a decent enough bump to offense. Crit damage is right. This potency is absolutely fine if you are concerned about landing the uh, landing the dots on the Force Crush. 95%. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Is there? A yes, there is. Yeah, it's a pretty long list, Christian. How's the paid queue? The paid queue currently, let's get it up on the screen. So we are just wrapped up now with uh, Mischievous Grievous. Mischievous Grievous. Mischievous Grievous. We've got one, two, three, four, five in the paid queue at the minute, and everything is tied to about a 10 minute timer. So we should be wrapped up for a, at least an hour on, well, nearly an hour on the paid reviews. Boom, boom, boom. If it's a Rebel Jedi or an Empire Sith, you get 16. Absolutely correct, Amy. Absolutely correct, because it, it's a timer, it's a counter for each of them. Are they Empire? Yes. Are they also Sith? Yes. Eight speed twice. It's just like Jedi Knight Revan. He gains five speed or passes five speed for every Jedi and every Old Republic. He's a Jedi and an Old Republic, so he gets ten speed. It's good. It's good. Next up on our list is Sirens. Submitted earlier, just didn't mark as priority. Okay, Sirens. Let's uh, let's double check in the thingamabob. Just checking up to see... So, Ross, Andrew, Joshua, Emil, Trevor, Sean, Velter, Sirens, what was the name that you submitted through, uh, through PayPal? And if you are still in the chat, Sirens. No, thank you, Mischievous Grievous. It was a pleasure. So the paid ones will take us to 11pm. Woohoo! They will indeed. They will indeed. Sirens, you in the chat? Sound off in the chat if you're around, buddy. Should be the same, Sirens. Um, it's, um, I can see Walter, Sean de Jean, Trevor, Emile, Joshua, Andrew Hernandez. Hmm. Actually, I'll, I'll cross-reference it with the time. I'll cross-reference it with the time. So you said you did one earlier. Sirens, it was about 8.17. Hmm, I, I don't see you in there, buddy. Did you do it through PayPal or did you do it through, um, did you do it through uh, Super Chats? Premium review. Okay, thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, for some reason I couldn't see it inside the uh, the email. I don't know why. But um, yeah, thank you. I remember that one coming through. Thank you, buddy. Okay, cool. And uh, so you are saying, what are you saying over here? Uh, besides the love of the content of the tribe, getting Bane next conquest thanks to them. Okay, cool. So. Over here, you are saying GAC focused, light spender, $5 Kyra packs, bought some of the light speed bundles, ticket farming for JML Alt, awesome. We'll have Darth Bane after next conquest, gear stashed for Relic 7. Good stuff. Should you go for Profundity, Leia, or Jabba? Round out current teams or hoard for potential new GL capital ship Naboo Raid Rex. Okay, cool. I'm going to answer some of that right now. We just need to start this timer. So, 10 minutes. Boop. Okay, so. First and foremost, hoarding for potential new GLs or capital ships is absolutely fine if you are an endgame account. If you are rocking a 13, 14 million GP account, hoard. Hoard for the new stuff, all right? Unless you're in that position, there's no point in withholding your current development for something that may or may not come, that may or may not be good. That's my general advice. 
When it comes to the new raid, yes, it's important to be prepared, but you can at least be prepared for some of it without having to focus exclusively on it, i.e. Gungans. You can be ready to participate at least at an entry level for this new raid without doing Gungans by doing things such as Geos or Jedi or separatists not geos separatists jedi galactic republic and gungans those are the factions right and there are a number of farms in the game that touch on those for example getting uh, gas for example helps you with separatists it also helps you with a little bit of galactic republic which is nice there's things like shakti in there there's gas himself which isn't going to be a requirement there's padme and things like that you know um and also focusing on things like conquest units will still get you some um development in that galactic republic era plus you've got four months for that so let's let's just not worry too much about future stuff just yet. And we can focus instead on what you should be pushing for right this moment. OK, so you say you're a light spender, which is cool. You're working on JML's alt. We've got six point two million rosters. So definitely don't worry about what's you know, what may be coming in the future. Um, I like that you've taken your JML straight to Relic 8. Good on you. He is fantastic at Relic 9. But if you do not have the capability at this moment to push him to Relic 9, don't worry too much about getting them up there, okay? Um, it does, it, out of all of the characters in the game that are not requirements for something, i.e. a capital ship or a legendary unlock or whatever it happens to be, JML is the most important Relic 9 in the game, apart from those that you have to for stuff like Leviathan, like DR and Malak, you need to have at Relic 9 to unlock the Leviathan, for example. Adrad, you need to have at Relic 9 to unlock the Profundity. JML isn't a requirement at R9, but he is a requirement because he is that damn good. All right, so have a consideration for that. I see him missing a Zeta and that's okay. So let me just uh, get your notes back up again here. Uh, you're going to have Darth Bane after the next conquest and you're going to be ready to take him straight up to Relic 7. That's really huge. This next conquest is starting on Monday. So it means, are you unlocking him at the end with the end rewards or are you able to get him with just a little bit of investment through the Jawa Scavenger nodes? Let me know in the comments um, so that we can we can push for that. You asked if you should go for Profundity or something like Lair or Jabba. Now, personally, I like to prioritize fleets. But you do have a seven star executor already. JML and Profundity pair off very, very nicely as farms together. But I feel like if you are hitting first in fleet, you should push for Jabber for the immediate benefit. So let me know in the chat. Do you do you climb up to first in fleet? You're sat at 15 currently. I have a feeling that means you can probably at least get into top 10, probably top five at the very, very least, um, which means first is probably on the books for you, which means you don't necessarily need to push immediately for profundity. Still good to have. It means I'm, all I'm saying is you have this wiggle room to start pushing for Jabber if you want. And uh, it would be Jabber before layer, in my opinion. OK, because by the time that you get Leia, her raid is going to disappear. She's still going to be a great GL. She'll still be phenomenal. But Jabba will be the better choice after that's gone. So with that in mind, I would say that your current priority farming should be Conquest. Get your ultimate on, on JML. Get Bane. Relicate him or Relic 7 him, however high you're taking him. He is that good. He's basically a GL. He's, he's just he's just a GL um, and you only have to gear one person for it. Yeah, he'll need at least an army, but, you know, I'm sure you've got some Sith that you can throw in with him. Let's just check that out real quick. I mean, you could throw Talon if you want. Yeah, you lose her from, say, a Treya team, but the benefit you could eat. No, you can't really throw Sith Trooper if you're going to use the Datacron, but you could throw Talon. Talon is probably your lowest hanging fruit there to throw alongside Bane for killing GLs, which would be... You know, just juicy. Yeah, so order JML's ult. Get Bane up to Relic 7 at the least. Make sure you throw on his Rule of Two Omi at the very least. Yeah. Then I would say if you can still maintain high rankings in fleet, go ahead, push for Jabba, then get Profundity. And you'll be in a really, really juicy position. You can push for Lair at that point if you want. But I don't necessarily think it's the best thing for you to do. I love, by the way, that you got Jedi Knight Cal. Congratulations, mate. Congratulations. Hold up. Um, oh, not that high. Sorry, the, the chat's not refreshing for some reason. 
There we go. It's refreshed now. Not that high. Droid brains are your bottleneck at 7 out of 20. Okay. Count Dooku should have a ship. I completely agree. Uh, Zeta Crunch hit you hard. Yeah, it really would. Think investment. I'm 292 out of 330 for Bane. Yeah, so you'll you'll need to wait until the end. Yeah. Full Leviathan in the top 10, so you can't breach top 10. So, but okay, fine. You can't get into top 10. That's a bit of a shame. Um, I believe there is an executor counter. I just can't remember it. Started the account back in 2019 and came back after a three-year break. So yeah, that means everybody else has got a three... At least everybody at the top of the fleet shard has most likely got a three-year advantage on you, which kind of sucks, but it's not unsalvageable. It's not unsalvageable by any stretch of the imagination. Okay, that's fine. And, and honestly, like Profundity, going up against um, the Leviathan, it does have its counters, but not entirely um, safe either. So I would I would probably still focus on Jabber to try and get the benefits to your modding game at the very least, help you out in GAC areas a little bit more. Use it daily, Razorcrest, Cadbane, and Boba Fett starting. Oh, that's interesting, Janus. If you've got a link to a YouTube guide on it, please do put it in the chat. So hopefully help Sirens out a little bit. Maybe Sirens is already using it. I don't know. Um, but good to know. Good to know. Uh, right. And I should probably actually clue up on it myself so that I can use it. Have it in my back pocket, as it were, for GAC. Do I have a guide for Count Dooku? No, I don't, Red Dragon. There's, I'm not sure why you would need a guide for a particular character. It's not something typically asked, but it's something that we can cover at some point. You got an MC Alliance member in round one. Nice, dude. You'll check that out. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, okay, cool. So, uh, Jabber before Layer, in my opinion. And honestly, even after you've got Layer and you've got your Profundity, I wouldn't necessarily ju just immediately go, yeah, let's go ahead and get um, get Layer. You said that you got some of the Lightspeed Bundle Pack, so I don't know if you picked up Resistance. You did. Like, they, you are so close to unlocking Ray. Like, there's no point in you going on some big farm when you've literally got possibly the best defensive GL just sat there waiting. Waiting. Uh, thanks, Karth. Will do, buddy. Um, you know, like, it's... I couldn't resist, Karth. No way. We have to make that happen, Karth. Karth, we have to make that happen. All right, like, no, 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 try. There, there is do. There is do. There's no do not. There's just, there's just do. There's just, we'll have to make that happen. <laughs> oh, baby. Okay, I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. I, I, yeah, look, this, you've got a GL just waiting there, dude. Like, no farm, no nothing, really. Just get Ray. You're just going to have to get Ray. Like, she is good. A lot of people poo poo on Ray, but she is very, very good, especially with the current Datacron set. It's just the ship slowing you down. Yeah, that's fair. So it's is is it your Radus that's not playing game right now? Yeah, I don't even see that. Is is there no what? What's your shard count on the Radus looking like? You only need to get it to five stars. I did get a little bit very excited, Night Fox. Zero. Oh mate. <laughs> Still need the Falcons. Oh, God. Yeah, that's painful. Prioritize that, dude. Make sure that you are getting those shards farmed. Make sure you do it, because that is a free GL just waiting to happen. That is just waiting to happen, brother. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I feel the pain, Sirens. I feel the pain. Yeah, the, the, there was the, the Radis Lightspeed bundle. I don't know if it's still around or if it's available for gifting. But, um, you know, maybe maybe you could make that happen because that would just that would help you out heaps and bounds. And I'm pretty certain that gives other stuff as well that would be useful. I don't know if you've got your, your Bosk already. Yeah, you have already. Okay, so that's fine. Like, this is so good, man. This is so good. Obviously, you're Zeta broke right now because of the influx, but... L's in the chat for the bros, Radis. Absolutely, Amy. Amy hitting it right on the head. Oh, crap. We're out of time. Um, Sirens, any last questions, mate? Any last questions before we wrap up? And then I'm going to take a quick toilet break and we're going to be back to it. We're going to be back to it. Figured that'd be the best way to avoid a six-month farm. Thanks for the advice. No worries, Sirens. No worries at all. Oh, 
Karth, why you do this to me, dude? Why you do this to me? Yeah, so just wanted to know. Yep. No, you're in a good position, dude. You're in a good position. And you've got good focus. So I like it. Um, let's see. We're going to line up the next account, but I do need to go for a quick toilet break because I have the bladder the size of a walnut. Very small. Very small. A small walnut. Uh, so that was boopity boopity boo sirens. So next up on our priority list is Maester. Maester, are you in the chat? Yeah, Carl, for real. Yes, sir. Okay. We will check out your roster in about two minutes. Just need to go for a quick toilet break. All right, we are back. <clears throat> Gonna have to, yeah. So Night Fox is asking, who's who's in Carthrix bracket? Who is in Carthrix bracket? It's probably somebody you no nobody's ever ever heard of. Red Shadow, hope you can get to me before I gotta go to bed. I'd give money, but a little red. No, Red, don't worry about it, dude. I uh, I doubt. <laughs> like we've got so many. Everything that's not green is not done. And we're focusing on these premium ones first because that's the way the business rolls. All right. So let's go ahead and grab this ally code for Maester. Just looking away to focus. Been on hiatus for about six months. Okay, cool. Good stuff. Good stuff. Maester, you are still around, yes? Let's go ahead and drop this in. You are absolutely right, MMM. Mm. He's not paired up, but it's in the bracket. It's in the bracket. Good stuff, Maester. Okay, so you're wondering on where to focus on next. You've taken a six-month break. 8.8 .8 million, so you're going to have some decent stuff in your roster, which is nice to see. We've had a few 8 million accounts, actually, recently. In the old Bronzium. Do you not like GAC? Or are you just having a bit of fun? I know you've been off for six months. I'm joking. All right, let's check it out. Let me slide into Arnold's DMs later as well. Okay, so 8.8 .8 million, you've got a good chunk of GLs, which is nice to see. You know, we're rocking up, what, five GLs? The big Sag out of all the GLs, though, is that there's no Jabber. However, you do have JML, and JML makes me think, as well as the ad over here at Relic 9, that's good to see, makes me think that Hut Cartel and Jabber the Hut isn't that far away for you. I will check out your fleets in a moment. You are you are pushing Jabber, aren't you? You're already pushing Jabber. There's no way you've got these guys at Relics and you're not pushing Jabber, Maester. Um, absolutely hot hot, I will do, buddy. All right, so let's go ahead and check this out. So when it comes to capital ships, obviously you've got your Radistan. Your finalizer is just about finalizing. <laughs> 
Profundity over here is at four stars. The good thing about the Profundity is it can operate very, very well, even at four stars. You are most likely in a slightly older shard, though where the Profundity just can't compete quite so much. Hello, Halsey. How are you doing there? Hello, Rebel. How are you doing there? Hello there. Um. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. You need Jabber. You need Jabber because everybody needs Jabber. Everybody needs Jabber like everybody needs love in their life. You know, you say you don't want it, but realistically, once you've had the taste of what that beautiful large slug can give your roster, you can never look back and you wonder how you ever coped without it before. You need Jabber. You need Jabber. Embrace the large slug, my friend. Embrace the large slug. After that, I am a little bit concerned about the fleet game. All right. I'm a little bit concerned about the fleet game. Profundity at four stars is fine, but we don't have Leviathan and we don't have Executor. You will be a lot of the way there for much of it because you do have C and stuff like that. And once you've um, got Executor, I'll feel a little bit more comfortable. The other thing that I'm seeing here is that we don't have Empire up and running. You're TIE Defender over here is lacking stars and your Iden is lacking gear. You also have no Inquisitors. So this is showing the gap. I'm not saying this is a bad thing. This is highlighting the areas in which your roster can improve. Jabber is love. Fat, fat, sluggy, delicious love. Yes, yeah, so you've got to embrace that trail. That trail of slime. So Inquisitors, right? Ooh. Hold up. So does that six month break impact your scythe farm? It feels like that wouldn't have had an impact. But... I hope you're farming the scythe and the interceptor. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Tickle in the throat. I hope you're farming the scythe and the interceptor through proving rounds at the least, and that they're getting close to unlock, because that's going to be rounding out that gap in your fleet right now. Once you've got Chimera counter up and running, you're like, okay, got a solid Leviathan counter, got a solid pretty much anything counter, truth be told, works against multiple fleets. Um, then you'll be like, okay, we can also push to get Executor in a minute after we've probably finished off our Jabba, Jabba farm, truth be told. Um, and in that position, you'll be like, great, I've got basically every GL. I'm only really missing, what, layer at that point after you've got Jabba? I think that was right. Let's go back and double check. Yeah, yeah, you're just missing Jabba and Leia. You ha Jabba has to be your next GL. And it should probably be your next farm in general. It looks like you're already pushing for him. Get Jabba. I would then personally go ahead and get Executor. OK, because you need to have those additional farms. You need to make sure that you're getting your empire counter up as well. So that does mean a little bit of investment inside of um, Iden. <laughs> I'm a child. Sorry, I was just thinking about anyway <clears throat> inside of Iden and also unlocking things like Scythe and the Interceptor, the Inquisitor's ships. Yeah, because I don't see them here, buddy. I don't see them, Maester. You didn't do much conquest. Oh, I got you. I got you, Maester. Um, do conquest. It, like, genuinely speaking, when it comes to the best units in the game, many of them stem from Conquest, right? Like, many of them do. They, it Just like, the best units in the game almost always come from Conquest. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea. I am British, so I get to use that terminology. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea. It's not always enjoyable. It's always grindy. But you're going to kick yourself so hard if you don't get the Conquest units like Bane right now. Bane is so phenomenal. I feel bad for my boy Thrawny who missed out on Bane unlock thanks to uh, thanks to, thanks to a, a glitch in CG's code where he didn't get rewarded for his red crate. And he missed out for, like, what, a month? A month of no Bane? Having to farm things through Proving Grounds and through Ultimate Journey tokens is like pulling teeth. It's not a fun way of doing it. So even though it sucks to do conquest for some people, I quite enjoy it, truth be told. Not everybody loves it. Just try and force yourself to love it. Find the love within conquest. I'll do a song. Where is the conquest? At least getting Crate 5 gets you on track for six months. Indeed it does, Halsey. Indeed it does. I get off work to find out we're getting a GC army. <laughs> I know, bald man, right? Only dad bod Boba regretting putting all the armies on him. Hey, he's got use, though. Blame Scribe? Yes, blame me. I, I spoke to Meathead and I was like, hey, Meathead, it'd be a really good idea if you'd start throwing on some Galactic Challenge on it. It's boring, but having tunes pays off. It does, Valter. You're absolutely right. Bane is literally a god. He is literally a GL. <laughs> like, except the fact that when you filter by tags of GL, he doesn't get included in the list, which I think is an oversight. 
Um, but he is almost, almost in all, all senses of the words, just a galactic legend. So got to find that love. Jabber, Executor, think about Leviathan. That should be your, your setup now. But I imagine if you've been focusing away from things like uh, Conquest, then your Sith Empire is not going to be up to this snuffer. Oh, you got Darth Malgus. Oh, well, hello there, Darth Malgus. Yeah, you haven't completely, completely neglected them. That's what we do, 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 do after they all. You know. No, no Fury class Interceptor. That's all right. You'll get there eventually. My resub message is, doesn't it does not undead gentlemen. It, it chose to fully ignore you, but thank you so much for the resub. You are a squire, a scholar, and a gentleman. All at once. All at once, good sir. Thank you. Hey, boss one, thank you for the follow. Um, Main is the most rewarding tune. Yeah, absolutely right. I'm doing really great, Rebel. Thank you for asking, buddy. So I'm just checking up. Uh, what I said was, so just look at the Gungan Phalanx kit. I have a serious question. Whoever decided to put the Omicron. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, it's very strange. Very strange to have that sort of Omicron. I think your roster is actually really good, mate. It is good. It is good. My fl your, your fleet progress worries me. And maybe we're li missing a couple of relics on your GLs. It's great you've unlocked them. You take them all to Relic 7. But when you you're nearly at that point now where you're like, I finished with the best teams in the game. It's now time to get my most m the most use out of them. So stuff like an R9 JML. Think about trying to up the relic levels on these because it does improve their viability. But it's not something that you should really try and push too heavily until you've finished off things like, oh, I've got my Executor, I've got my Jabber, I've got my Profundity. You can push for Leia, but not yet would be my suggestion. I'm actually going to turn these roster reviews off now, so please don't uh, donate any further, guys, because uh, I can't promise we'll get you through tonight, okay? Oh, dear me. Still got another 30 minutes of the paid reviews. That's absolutely correct. That's absolutely correct. I like the fact that you've got Jedi Knight Calcastis up here. It's going to pair very well with your JML. You know, that profundity it doesn't need to be seven stars, so you don't have to funnel a bunch of your stuff into there. You've even got Afra. Do you have Bo Katan Mandalore as well? I doubt it, but you never know. No, okay. No, no Bo Katan Mandalore, but you do have Afra. It's nothing wrong with Afra at all. I just wouldn't call her in the current climate like a massive priority farm, if you catch my drift. You're going to have her tonight. You're unlocking Bo Katan Mandalore later on tonight. That is sick, dude. That is actually really cool. So, congrats. Have you got the Datacron set up? No. See, this is why Conquest Conquest is important. She's great without it. She's phenomenal with it. If you've been watching my GACs, watching a slap Lord Vader around the face with a wet fish known as the Darksaber, it's just a beautiful sight. It's a beautiful sight. That's, it. That's where you can find fun. Uh, so many people poo-poo on Datacrons, but they're fun. Using them is fun. Going up against them, maybe not so fun, but using them is a hell of a lot of fun. You want to see a good light side conquest character? Yeah, me too. It'll be it'll be nice, right? It'll be nice. What's a bow? <laughs> and now I'm on the YouTube side. Welcome, Rebel. Hey, Valtor, thank you so much for becoming a member of the tribe over on YouTube. You are a gentleman and a scholar. You have a bunch of GCs. Hell yes, Amy. Hell yes. I love that you got Keller and Beck up and running. Obviously, you're you're about to unlock Bo-Katan Mandalore, so that stuff. You're like his army. If you if you like TW, his army is incredible, dude. It's absolutely incredible. I, like current Datacron set. I think I saw you have the Keller. Yeah, you've got Kelleran's Datacron. This thing is wild. This thing is absolutely wild. You got some extra protection there at the top level. Got some extra offense over here. If you can get this one to be 100% offense when they've got max health. <sighs> <laughs> it just smacks. And you've got protection up. Yeah. Ah, oh, mucha gracia a ti, Belter. Mucha gracia. Uh, who let Rebel in here? God damn it. I know, right? So, uh, Maester, do you have any questions before we before we move on? We are out of time, good sir. I think your roster is really cool. I think you've got some nifty stuff going on here for 8.8 .8 mil. This is really good, dude. This is really good. Uh, so yeah, Jabba Executor, Jabba Executor, eventually push, push for Leviathan. You might be constrained by your uh, ability to get the Fury class interceptor shots. 
that would be my requirement. Uh, that would be my recommendation so far. You can leave layer until a little bit later. When, when you have seven GLs, the eighth is nice, but it's not the thing holding you back. You know what I mean? Fleets are holding you back currently. Make sure you do get those Inquisitor's fleets. Try to get a little bit of gear into Aiden. Get into Aiden. Get into Aiden. All right. All right. <laughs> Good business. Good business. Thank you so much, buddy. That was, uh, that was a lot to love. That was a lot to love right there. So, Maester, we are going to mark you off as complete and beautiful at the same time. God damn. Over here, Valter, Valter, mi hombre. I've just seen that you've just become a member as well. So, I mean, you are definitely in the chat. Oh, well, hang on. I gotta, I'm not marking you off as done. <laughs> okay, so you are... What's folks on X currently doing the C event? So you are in the process of unlocking C right this very moment. I see what you're doing. You want to be in, Aiden? I mean, what? You meant what you said. Don't try and pretend to me. You simp. You Aiden simp, you. We do have a, a fan club. We do have a fan club. Maradao Varico. So, 9.76 millions of the GP. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you're just finishing up on C requirements. I can see... Oh, look at this. Look at this. 9.7 mil. The guy's rocking a seven-star Leviathan. Beautiful. Beautiful. Sat in first. Kaiba 2. Kicking ass. Just below Kaiba 1, actually. I think 3610 is the cutoff for Kyber 1. This guy, this guy, this guy, man. Not even 10 million GP sniffing at Kyber 1. Probably has jumped into Kyber 1 and then got slapped down. But hey, check. Oh my lord, that's the Relic 9s that we are looking for. R9 Ray, R9 JML, R9 Leia. Oh, baby, baby, Valter. Look at you, boy. Look at you. Love to see it. We got Jedi Knight Calcastus rocking. We've got Leviathan. I'm guessing we're going to see lots of profundities and executors. And okay, no profundities, but we do have Leviathan exec. We do have Leviathan and exec. So that's nothing too shabby. All right. So what are we missing as far as Galactic Legends are concerned? We are missing Lord of Failure, which is okay. Yeah, you've got Jabba. I mean, you know, you've got Jabba. That's the main one. Um,. <clears throat> You're missing Lord Vader, you're missing C, but you are just said you are wrapping up on C. You're wrapping it for C. Apparently, we're just doing a load of jokes at the minute. Um, so it's just Lord Vader left, and that's absolutely fine. Like, in my opinion, Lord Vader should be almost everybody's last farm, unless you're going for an early game profundity rush and you're a bit of a sadist. Because you could do early game profundity rush into Lord Vader. I don't advise it, but early game profundity rush, absolutely. R9 Bane too. Yeah, check out that Bane, baby. Check out that Bane. Double Omi R9 Bane is absolutely flipping sick. I mean, I think it goes without saying. You need profundity, dude. Like, once you finished up on your C, once you finished up on C, you can push Lord Vader if you want. You're, you're doing a toss-up, essentially, right? You do a toss-up because you can get profundity as a really cool, amazing capital ship, or you can try and strengthen your negotiator by going Lord Vader and getting that GL, right? Lord Vader feeds you Marauder, makes you negotiator super good. If you've got the capacity to throw some relic levels over there on your plow, you've got yourself another really nifty counter, right? The first tier is almost done. Sick. How does profundity lead to Lord Vader? It doesn't. It doesn't lead to Lord Vader. Uh, did I say profundity to Lord Vader? I meant... Um, uh, sorry, I, this comes back from a talk I was having yesterday. Not profundity, gas. Gas and Lord Vader. Apologies. Um, profundity leads to JML Jabba. And that's that's totally acceptable. What's the timer at? What's with the timer? The timer is for the roster reviews. I set myself a 10 minute timer because otherwise I set... I just go off on the cuff and I review rosters for 40 minutes. And then nobody gets a review. And then everybody's grumpy. Uh, after C is profundity plus wrapping up some core teams like Bad Batch and Zori. Yep, that is totally good. That's totally good. C... Profundity, you can do Bad Batch, and that will feed into this Galactic Republic fleet, which is amazing, but it also helps you work towards Lord Vader. Now, you said yourself, Zori, you have Rey. Is she invested at all, or is she just sitting there with nothing? Oh, okay, cool. I can see you're lacking in the Zetas. Are you a little bit Zeta broke at the moment? Are you a little bit Zeta broke? Have we been doing some casual wailing, per chance, Valter? I am timing myself. I am indeed. I'm trying to give people value and focus. Focus, Scribble. My ADHD brain has a hard time focusing. So, 
I do need to have some more drink. See what I mean? Um, yeah. Your roster is sick, though. I love it. I love it. For 9.7 mil, like, it's not masses and masses and masses of GP. It's a chunk. It's a real good chunk, but you've got it where it counts, dude. You've absolutely got it where it counts. You've obviously farmed up on... Um, on oh look over here this is why you are knocking on the door of kaiba one look at all these level nine datacrons one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve you've got more level nine datacrons than i do granted i've got more at level eight but you know bought the bundle for ray hell yep um that was the punch in the stomach yeah yeah absolutely like the, whenever whenever you do any sort of wailing and it gives you a large amount of characters in a short amount of time, you realize that Zetas are not the infinite luxury that you thought they once were. I remember when I used to have a horde of over 200 Zetas, I was like, yeah, it's fine, I'll Zeta that, I'll Zeta this, I'll Zeta that, and I'm absolutely fine. New GL unlocked, all the Zetas, job done, no problem. And now I'm like, please, Zetas for the poor. Sat there begging. <laughs> Scribe is a very focused looking shiny. Yeah. Huelo Ren. And the skill folder, indeed. Indeed. Um, so, yeah, that is, that is my current... And the Geos just go... Fuck you, motherfucker! And then you die. Thank you, Wolfie. And the Geos just go... Please, sir, may I have some Zetas? Indeed, I, I'm so Zeta poor right now. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Make sure we get that profundity on lock after you finish your C. C is going to be great, man. You've already got Bane. You're going to be clamped. You you will easily be rocking in Kyber 1 after this. DC farming is free to pray. Do in the 50s and the 100s in Conquest. Yeah, exactly. I, I don't wail on Datacrons. I do the 50s and the 100s. Um, and I, I think I've got 11 level 9s, something like that. But I think I have about 4 or 5 level 8s. Um, and that's fine. Like, this, this is what gives you that competitive edge. If you've got the roster to support it, which you absolutely do, having the Datacrons is what makes the difference. And they just, they did just all go to Slack. And that's a good place for them to be. That is a very good place for them to be. Hey, peace out, Alicia. All the best, brother. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so C Profundity. C Profundity? C Profundity. Let's get rid of this. I want to make sure that I'm keeping my focus here. Yeah, C into Profundity. Profundity will wrap up your final top tier fleets. Empire over here, you've already got the Chimera counter already up and running. That's absolutely phenomenal. Do we also have Comeuppance? Comeuppance is there, but obviously Zori is lacking in it. She doesn't necessarily need the gear to make this stuff work. She's there for the reinforcement ability to be able to ca uh, pass Dramatic Entrance, I think it's called, to her allies. That helps raise Millennium Falcon just go and hit people for like 600,000. It's great on an AoE. So your fleet game, once you've got that profundity on lock, is going to be done. It's like completed it, mate. Everything that you do from there can be, you know, just direct focus on the latest and greatest within um, squads until the next GL Capital ship comes out. And then I recommend you immediately pounce on that because that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm kind of curious if you've invested any at all in Gungans. Gunganos. No. The Gungans are a bit of a just, eh, we, we, we gained one extra star from the marquee event. First round, just go hard on DCs, then only the 50s. Uh, I, 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 mine's a little bit different because I always have to do content creation tonight. So uh, the, first, the first one for me is always a case of, I've got to record a bunch of videos. Um, so I end up wasting a lot of energy. But... I still managed to farm quite a lot of datacrons because it's important. It's very important. It's very important. All right. Good business. Good business. Let's see what you are missing. Kiadi Mundi, I don't think you should prioritize this. Honestly, to a point, it's like you probably shouldn't even be using too much Get3 to get him because he's good, just not that useful. See, you've got a Visus Mar over there that's not not invested in. How are your unaligned force users looking? You've obviously got your Malakos and you've got your Star Killer. Who do you use as your light side unaligned force user for Star Killer? Cuz um I mean it it's not like she's a linchpin that makes a Star Killer team work, but um People on the internet gave me money to do this, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm like, yeah. 
dick and balls Sorry. on my chest. People. <laughs> Thank you, Anakin Eriko. An An Anakin ne Necro. I'm putting C so far down in the priority as I'm praying that he is the next Lightspeed bundle. I mean, that's that's a fair shout. Like, thank you so much, by the way, for the thousand biddies. That's huge, dude. That's huge. It's very kind of you. Uh, little little Ray. So you use Stick Ray. You Stick Ray. I mean, I imagine you probably get good use out of it. Like, Visas is the optimum there. But honestly, I think you've managed to... I mean, you've, you've already proven to yourself and to other people that you're able to climb into high kyber um, without the need of Visas Mark. She is obviously better, but genuinely, the benefit of getting Visa Mar up to relic levels is probably not worth the squeeze for you at this point. You know, she's great in conquest if you've got zealous ambition. So much fun. But it's like, she's just kind of a nice to have, more of a luxury farm than anything. But still, still good business. Still good business. Things that you might want to consider for future farms. Dark Side Mandalorians. You don't even need to go the full hog. You can just go Maul, Gar, ISC. Yes, it does impact your Lord Vader, but um, it can be worth it. it. can be worth it. Hey, Bazinga with a gifted sub. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you so much. Did that just announce that twice? Um, so... Saving the train. I didn't realize we had a hype train going. I was far too focused on uh, on... On the roster review. We do indeed have a hype train. Thank you so much. That's very kind of you, Bazinga. And uh, Anakin Necro, uh, were you putting down biddies there as a priority? Uh, as in, uh, like, a priority roster review? Because you didn't put in an ally code or anything like that. I don't know if you've gone through the list or anything like that. Because I have I have closed it off. But um, I, I, will, I will let you off if that is the case. Let me know. They're on the list. Okay, good. So... Mandos are on the list for you to eventually gear up. Do you have any other questions, uh, Valter? I've just noticed we're out of time. Rebel. Rebel just switching back between YouTube and Twitch. If you guys on YouTube could do me a favor and hit that like button, that'd be incredibly appreciated. What the fudge? Um. Did... Anakin Necro just dropped 29 subs. Um. <laughs> Holy hell. Anakin Necro, thank you so much, dude. Uh, yeah, ch thank you, Velta. Thank you, bro. That's, that, that's huge, dude. Can we get some W's in the chat for Anakin Necro? What the deuce? 29 gifted subs love the giraffe has just followed thank you so much and gold 15. <laughs> you've got a sick roster velter you've got an absolute sick roster holy moly that is insane that is insane dude anakin necro with the 29 gifted subs that is insane <sighs> mom get the credit card there's a goal to reach oh wait a minute what hold up that didn't, that, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. 289 out of 300 for the... Oh, no, no, Mega. That's bad timing, dude. We're about to get phalanx. Oh, my days. Oh, fuck. Anakin Necro is just like, oh, well, were we a little bit short? And drops another 11. Oh, my flipping days. That is the sub goal reached. That is the sub goal reached for R9 Omega. Um, well, first and foremost, Anakin Necro, thank you so much, dude. That is incredibly generous of you. Second of all, holy cow... So the rule is we've got a week to get her to R9. That's that's the rule. We've got a week. I'm going to do everything I can now for the stream. Should we do that, guys? And um, 
Uh, Night Fox, do you want to start a poll asking, do we try, do we blow all of our resources on, on Omega now? <laughs> Wolfie with the gifted sub over to, uh, over to Rebel. Like we're on a level eight hype train. Working on a level eight hype train. What are we? What are we? Pirate software over here. Level one hundred and six hype train. Let's go. God damn! You got missed. Did you, Issy? You got what? What? What, what happened? I I know we've got we've got extra review. <laughs> oh, you got missed. And, and Wolfie's like, ah, here you go, buddy. Thank you, Wolfie. You absolute legend. And yeah, that's a Sally up. That's a Sally up, and we owe a Sally up. So we're gonna have to do Sally ups. But yeah, we'll do one Sally up today. Um, yeah, if we want to start up a poll on, do we just throw everything on Omega right now? If you guys could all touch my poll in Twitch chat, I don't know. Can we do polls on YouTube? I've never tried. I think we can. I think we can. Um, let me see. And get start a poll. Gear Omega now. Start a poll. Okay, touch my poll, guys. I need to know. Do you want us to do the R9? Well, I don't know if I can R9 Omega right now, but I will put as much as I possibly can into Omega right now, if that's what the crowd wants. And then we'll get right back over to these roster reviews. Anakin, like, Anakin Necro over here dropping fat, fat stacks of subs. I was not expecting to hit this sub goal, like, for a couple of weeks yet. God damn. God damn. Technically, I spent my Prime sub to join the sub of <laughs> to you this month. I doubt I'll have time for my roast review today. Eh, we'll try our best. We'll try our best. I refunded my points for the 50 push-ups. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> uh, what is this, R9 Omega and pole touching talk? I don't know what this... T uh, yeah, it's... it's We're going to touch our poles whilst we... Nothing about an underage skill. Ooh, that's just wrong. I, I don't want to finish that joke. Um, yeah, touch my poll, guys. Touch my poll. I need to know what we're doing. I mean, let's let's be honest. Everybody's like, yeah, throw a bunch of gear on Omega. That'll be good. It does mean we need to we need to decide on the next sub goal as well. And why is it Jar Jar? You know what I mean? The one no vote has to be scribe. No, I haven't touched the poll yet. I haven't touched my own poll. Why would I touch my own poll? I've got you guys to touch my poll. <laughs> oh my yeah oh my god oh my god i was not expecting this sub goal to be up is the sub goal not a youtube subscriber goal i didn't realize this was i was this out of date with youtube no no this this is a this is a twitch sub goal twitch sub goal yeah the, in, insane we like anakin necro dropped like 40 subs it's crazy dude let me just wash my hands first. <laughs> Gigi was your first Relic 9. He was my first Relic 7 when Relics first came to the game. Gigi was my very first. All right, how are we looking? I mean, I think it's pretty clear. 15 to 1 on Twitch and 75% of the viewers are saying yes to Omega right now. I think that, that kind of settles it, guys. We're, we're going to have to... <sighs> we're doing it. We're doing it. Your poll must be sexy. Got so many kitties around. I mean, you know what I mean? All right. Cool. So, where's Omega? Can you see how much love I've given my Omega so far? Yeah, I du dual stream now. I dual stream to Twitch and YouTube. And it's it's great. I've, I've been loving it. All right. Ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how far we can take Omega. Boom. Yep. It, I like how CG is like, are you sure you really want to do this? Are you sure you want to do this? I Sometimes I ask myself the same damn question. All right, what are we missing? What are we missing? We've got them. We need these. We need these. Oh man, there's absolutely nothing to whale on here. There's nothing to whale on. Must whale harder. We need one more, don't we? I don't know if that's going to be enough. Probably not. Alright, we've got that. We've got that. Ah, oh, we need another one. Oh, and another one of these. Oh, dear. I'm having a hard time here. Having a hard time there. For democracy! 
Hold up. Hold up. Let's see if there's a completed piece. I mean, this is going to be expensive for crystals. I think it's like 5k, isn't it? Oh, that's really not so bad. That's not as bad as I thought it was. I mean, it's not great. <laughs> please, please stop. I wish I could, buddy. I wish I could. But this is the way. You know, when, when, when the tribe hits a sub goal, we've got a responsibility. We've got a responsibility to uh, to apparently wail like we've never wailed before. All of these crystals, you know, all of this was for the for the phalanx. But sometimes, when in doubt, you just have to relic omega. That's not a lot of carbonite circuit boards. That's not a lot of carbonite circuit boards. Or bronzium wiring. You died a little inside. How'd you the guy feel, bro? I mean, that's not too bad. But what else you get from that? Stuff and things? Meh. Let's go over to the uh, scavenger. Oh my god. Where is the value at? Where is the value? <laughs> let's just go back to quantity again. Quantity and let's just get rid of a crap load of these. I want to keep those. Crap load of these. Crap load. This is painful, bro. <laughs> Carbonite circuit board's really hurting. Bronzium wirings are not exactly much better. We've got to go by value for these. That guess is some other way there, at least. Like, we definitely have all of the um, signal data. I am apparently dancing. I am apparently. But hey, when needs must, needs must. I'll take this girl as far as we can and completely ruin all of the stuff that I needed for Phalanx. What relic am I going to? Well, we just hit a relic 9 sub goal. No, I didn't, Night Fox, because I didn't really have a lot at the time. Oh. Need more chromium transistors. Let's get them real quick. Just started my Bad Batch farm for Lord Vader. Only lacking GL, but could... There we go. Chromium transistors sorted. <laughs> Merin it is. R9 Merin next. Well, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. How did you run out of transistors? I, I didn't. I just got all the way back up. I just ha I don't convert them as I get them. <sighs> oh my god. Who voted for, for Omega? Indeed. Who voted for Omega? I can't I can't do the I can't do the army. Are you happy? Are you happy tribe? <laughs> Are you happy now we've got an R9 double zated omega? You know, right when we needed to save stuff for Jar Jar. <laughs> <God damn. laughs> but them mods are trash. Those mods are happy. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, gross. All right, so as is tradition, ladies and gentlemen, the tribe gets to pick my next Relic 9 as part of the very next sub-goal over here. All right, so normally, normally how I do this is through polls, okay? But what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is we might do another Google form, and I'm going to get everybody gets to go in and vote for a character and i guess the character with the most number of votes on that google form is the answer what do you guys think how about sora nine oh my god uh, the, my bad batch check I and mean, my bad batch are okay and they're not great um so most of them are relic five but echoes at relic eight and now flipping omega is at relic nine can we vote to one Relic Omega? I wish we could. I wish we could. So, I think we do a form. I think we do a form. We leave the form up for 10 minutes, and then I'll see which character has the most entries. What do you think, guys? What do we think of that? I lost a bet and had to R8 Seer. Uh, th honestly, dude, there are worse things than an R8 Seer. There are worse things than an R8 Seer. I'm going to set up a Google form. And I'm going to share that. I'm going to pin that in the chat. Everybody has to go to that form and let me know who should we be Relic Nighting, Nighting next. So, Scribes. Scribes R9 sub goal. All right, so I'm going to let people have two options. All right. And it's going to be a short answer. All you have to do is write in the name of the character that you're going to um, you're, you're voting for. And I'm going to count up the ones with the most responses. OK, the most responses after a 10 minute timer will be the character we take to R9, all right? I would ask people not to game the system and um, and go in and put multiple entries. Please don't do that because you destroy the spirit of things, all right? So I'm going to get a link for it. Shorten the URL. Copy that. Can we see the bottom of, your, of my roster? Absolutely. Not Gungans, obviously. This is the bottom of my roster. Hey, if you guys want to make it some Night Sisters, you've got my blessing. Um, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna share that link inside of the chat, and I'm gonna pin that inside of the chat so that everybody knows what we're doing. Okay, so pinned message within YouTube right now is for the form for uh, our next R nine. Pinned message within. Actually, I can't pin it. Bazinga, could you pin that link to the to the form to vote on an R9 character, please, within the Twitch chat? Thank you. Appreciate that. So, guys, I'm going to start a 10 minute timer. Whichever character is mentioned the most in that form is going to be the character that we R9 next. So, make sure you follow that form. Place an entry. Don't place multiple entries. All right. Just go ahead, go into the form, name a character, the character with the most votes, oh, most entries into that form, I will put as the next R9, okay? Y'all dig? Y'all dig? Got it? Get at it? Go! Go, 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 go! You've got 9 minutes and 30 seconds. 9 minutes and 30 seconds to get this done. If you want, if you want, you know, you could, you could do stuff like, you know... Night Sisters, if you want, you could do... You know what you could do? You could do this. You, you could totally do Queen Amidala. You know what I mean? Why not? Why not Queen Amidala? What, you, what you, could, you could do Jar Jar. You could just go by Gungans, guys. Like Gungans. Relic 9 Gungans. Not Cup and Ugnaught and Eeth Koth. Please? Please don't give me trash. Have a heart. I just did R9 Omega. <laughs> have a heart make sure you're going through that form guys make sure you're going through that form and voting on the next character okay 
We've had 34 responses so far. Come on, guys. Entries into the form. Entries into the form. The great thing about this is this automatically um, summarizes everything for me. That's huge. 40 responses so far. 42, the meaning of life. We've got 8 minutes and 15 seconds. I'm a gun die. I think I'm gonna die right now. I mean... R9 Omega, dude. <laughs> that hurts so much. That hurts so much. Uh, Mass, uh, Ma Matt, sir, you, you won't be able to do... Were you on the premium uh, roster reviews, dude? Were you on the premium list? Because I need to know to um, get rid of you if you were... Like, not obviously get rid of you. But um, you you were indeed. Yeah, I can see you on the premiums. Okay, no worries, dude. We will. I'll make sure that you, you remain on that list for the next one. Okay, dude? Thank you, buddy. I'm sorry we couldn't get around to your review in time. Vandor Chewy says Captain Amazing. How you doing, buddy? If uh, you aren't already following Captain Amazing on Twitch and on YouTube, make sure you do help out a follow, a follow, a fellow content creator. How are my Gungans looking now? Pretty good. Pretty good. Gungans are looking pretty hot. Check them out. Got uh, got all of them at R5. I had everything saved up to take uh, Phalanx up to R5 as well, but we just blew it all on an R9 Omega. Damn it. I haven't had a chance overcasted. No. Yeah. Hydrate coming out of Janus. I'm going to go refill my glass and then we'll get back to it. Um, I'm trying to get through the remaining paid reviews and then we're, and then we're going to call it a day. So I believe Matza over here. Matza over here has just announced he's leaving, but he'll roll over. Um, so we've just done Valter. What a gent he was. Um, so we've got the Collector. Oh, th that might be our last premium review. Cool. So yeah, we're, we're going to finish up those because we were supposed to go until 11 and then things happened. I'll just refresh this page just in case there have been any others. But I think... The Collector. Yeah, it's just the Collector. So it's just one more. Um, and we've got to do a Build Sally up as well. Okay, so uh, one, one second. I'm just going to get a drink and we'll be back. Uh, 11.3. You can see it up here. Back to it. So we've got another four and a half minutes here. <clears throat> uh, shift down. You did a right after the Grievous on PayPal. Right after Grievous on PayPal. Shift down. Is this you, Shifty? Because you put no down for the premium review. Like, I can totally do it. I can totally... Double check, and we would. It's just you would have got your review much earlier, buddy. Is is this you, Shifty? Because, like, I have to... If you don't say yes for the premium review, I'm not going to know. <laughs> well, I mean, obviously, I'll, I can go back and check. But, um... You put Shift down. Because he's Shifty. Did you fill out the form? 
Did you fill out the, the Google form, Shift Down? I gave you a pass in the vote. I put in Juhani. Your guild... They would be actually, Roy. They would be very happy with Juhani. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. Uh, 979161. Yeah, did you not fill out the form at all? Yeah, because this is how I figure out... This is how we figure out if people put their stuff in. Um, okay, one second. Let me... You did indeed. I can, I can see, I can see your, um, I can see your payment in. I can see your payment in. It would have been a while ago as well. Dude, we would have, we would have sorted you out. But you didn't, you didn't fill out the form. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did the PayPal link. You still have to fill, fill out the, the actual form because that's what tells me who's up. So absolutely, we'll get you done. We'll get you done, Shift Down. We'll do you next. And then Collector Swigger, if you're still around, we'll do you as well. Yeah, yeah, that's like there's there's a form that I pin at the at the top, and it fills out all of this automatically, keeps everything in line. That's why we missed you, buddy. <laughs> oh my god, Earth and Moon. Yeah, there's still two minutes left on that form. Next time, I think I'll do it at five minute one, and then we'll update the sub goal above my head. Collector is me and puts uh, my YouTube name in. Ah, okay, so dancing. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to do shift down and then we're going to do you, okay? But we're just going to wait for this to finish up and, um, and we'll go from there, okay? If that's cool with you. Sick. We've had 58 responses so far, guys. 58 responses. <laughs> All right, sorry. Just got a very itchy nose at the minute. I think you missed Anakin. Oh, did I? Uh, Anakin sent a message. Let me uh, let me scroll up over here. Anakin Necro. Anakin Necro. Anakin Necro. You were in Twitch chat, weren't you, buddy? Let me let me just go and grab that one second. I definitely did miss the chat. So I'd throw in a review, but I technically didn't donate. Uh, Anakin Necro, you are more than welcome to have a review. If you want a review, you get a review, buddy. <laughs> like, just let me know. Just let me know. The count timer is for the end of the vote for the next R9 character. <laughs> Omega Hunter Tick. When's the next Bad Batch Season 3 episode out? It's got to be pretty soon, right? Is it this week or are they not weekly releases? I think I'm caught up. R9 Phalanx. Yes, please. Karth. Yeah, absolutely. If we can get an R9 Phalanx. That's what we all voted on. <laughs> the suspense is real. Yeah, exactly. You can't see who's winning. You cannot see who's winning. So next time I'm not going to put multiple choices because that's it, guys. The, the form is now closed because it's giving us... Well, apparently we've got more responses. So not everybody voted for both, but we're going to have to go into the Google Sheets, the actual view the responses, and what would be the best way if I just... No, I can't highlight. If I do this. People here are double voting for the characters. I asked you guys not to do that. If I just copy all of this. And then if I copy all of this. Oh my days, that's a lot into a new spreadsheet I could do I could do this and then I could go um, there should be a filter button up here if we go where's the filter create a filter how can I go remove duplicates I wonder actually I could just go count if range 
Nah. So there are five votes for Merrin, apparently. Oh, that's not caught the entire range. Hold up. That's not caught the entire range. Eleven votes for Merrin. Eleven votes for Merrin. I'm just gonna see see which one's the highest now. It looks like it's Merrin, guys. Eleven votes for Merrin. Yeah, it's all Merrin. That looks like Merrin to me, guys. You guys making me relic my goddamn night sisters. Put the top three in a poll. Could do. Could do. So it'd be Merrin Cup. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna mess around with this. I'm not gonna mess around. Merrin Cup potentially Night Sister Acolyte. Ooh, gross. Uh, I think the way we did it was perfectly fair. To be honest, nobody got to. Uh, nobody got to mess around. Well, I mean, you could double vote, obviously, but you shouldn't have done. I asked you not to. All right. It's Marin, guys. It's Marin. It's Marin. So, Marin's not a bad shout. She's a really solid character, but have you seen my Night Sisters? Like, honestly, have you seen my Night Sisters? <laughs> Carthrick is like, people should just ask me, and that'd be the way. Well, apparently, Carth always gets his way. <sighs> All right, so it's R9 Merin is our new sub goal. R9 Merin is the new sub goal, guys. Let's go over to stream elements. We've got to uh, change our sub goal. Change our sub goal. Overlay gallery. Overlays, rather. Uh, sub goal widget. We need to change this. I need a beautiful photo of Merin. Actually, I'll sort the photo out later. Right now, it can just be, uh, it can just stay as Omega. Session data. Uh, we're currently at 302, so we are two out of 300. So goals. Zero two. Well, let's go two. Save the changes. Boom. It's just, it's not Omega. That's all it is. It's just not Omega. I will change it. We are 2 out of 300. It's going to be Merin, ladies and gentlemen. Merin. Your night sisters are worse than mine. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You lost your previous two picks as people voted for what you said. Just go. I just go with it now. That's fair. Okay. So technically, we should have three roster reviews. Um, we should have three roster reviews. It's going to be for... Sorry. I've... Sorry, so somebody sli sliding into my DM, so I'll, I'll, I'll look at it later. Apologies. <clears throat> Apologies. All right, let's get rid of that form. Roster reviews. So we've got we've got the collector. We've got um um. God damn it! I shift down, shift down. Apologies. Let me go back up and grab Shift Down's uh, Shift Down's ally code as well. Thank you, Shift Down. So Shift Down's going to be first. Then we've got uh, we've got our good man, we've got our good man collector, and then it's going to be Anakin Necro. Alrighty. Everybody good? Everybody good. We're just finishing up on our roster of yours. So first up is going to be Mr. Shift Down. Shift, are you still in chat, dude? Mini Shift Down from Anzac Walking. Yes, sir. Okay, tell me a little bit about your roster review. What What do you want me to... What? How would you like me to do this roster review? 
not going to start the timer yet because this is why the form is important. It gives me the focus. Uh, no, we're just going to finish off with the premium reviews right now, Oliver, and then I'm going to wrap up the stream because it's getting late for me now. I've got to be up in the morning at, you know, in the gym for 630 So we've got three, three to get through, um, and we've got one that's going to carry over, essentially. You're struggling with GAC defense. I've been asked to do more GLs and GL ships. Not sure where would be most ideal. Okay, cool. I mean, the good thing, the good thing, the good thing about performing well in GAC is, generally speaking, that's just the best way to build out your roster for all game modes, right? Being good in GAC usually means you're top of your fleet arena, usually means you're getting the best teams for TW, usually means they're the teams that translate well into TB, apart from apparently an R9 Omega, which is absolutely Omega. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So. 7.4 million, and we're rocking the trip GLs, yeah? Um, will my roster review happen in the next stream? Uh, hopefully, hopefully, Amy, uh, but it, it won't be in my next stream necessarily because the next stream that we're going to be doing is GAC. So it'll be in the next uh, roster review stream, roster review streams. OK, so checking this out, 7.5 mil. We've got three GLs. They are good GLs. Of course, you've got Ray, you've got Slacker, you've got C. C is very much offensively based. Ray is very much defensively based. And Slacker is somewhere in the middle, a little bit more focused towards offense, I would say. Um, but I, I'm guessing potentially why you struggle with GAC is because you don't necessarily have those super high level defensive GLs on mass. Let's check out your fleets. OK, so we've got an executor and that's it. And I think that's probably part of the problem here. We would really like to try and see at least two at 7.5 million, three GLs essentially working on starring up your executor it would be really nice if we just had one extra of those big ships to buffer and by big ships i mean either profundity or leviathan very difficult for you to get leviathan i imagine at 7.5 mil not out of the realms of possibility is omega r9 or wait no, we've already done it big ninja we, we blew all of my materials getting her to r9 straight away <laughs> it was painful i'm still hurting on the inside i'm crying real tears right now real tears so so Ideally, we would like to see something like a Profundity in here as well, and that would feed well into GAC performance because fleets win GAC. Fleets win GAC either by uh, being incredibly efficient on your offensive um, fleet battles or having things on defense that your opponent struggles with. If you can hold one wall in GAC, that's often more than enough. Now, I will say that when it comes to GAC, there are a lot of things that come into play when it uh, when looking at, are you going to climb in leagues and divisions? It's not just what is your roster made out of. It's also the approach that you take. And it's whether or not you've invested in Datacrons and the size of your roster and all that sort of business. OK, so I imagine you're not a Datacron heavy guy, but you've got a lot of level eights in that previous set. That's not too bad. And we've got some Relic Nines going. I love that you got Bane because I saw you do have an R9 Bane. So that's already giving you offensive capabilities here. See uh, Sidious over here, offensive capabilities. Holdo really good defensive g uh, i was going to say gl but she is very very good defensively speaking fought a really cool jtr bb8 holdo on defense in 3v3 this last round it was really cool it was lucky we were actually able to beat that one fleet is a pain thinking you should get the gl characters or the fleet first um how do you how do you place in fleet how how, how high can you climb is the is the real question shift there because generally speaking if you can't break into top 10 then you should be Focusing on fleet. Simple as that, really. You can you can climb into the teens. So what's stopping you? What 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 actually restricts you from climbing higher? Is it the fact that it's like a bunch of seven star leviathans that you just can't beat? Is it profundities that you're struggling with? Or is it seven star execs? Because that you know there's there's usually an answer. There's usually an answer to climbing. Or is it a case of that there's a fleet shard that is like withholding you from progressing? Levies and time availability. So sometimes you just don't have the luxury of being able to spend five fleet battles climbing in fleet arena and you might get stonewalled about not being able to beat out the Leviathans. That's that's fair enough. That's fair enough. So we were already discussing there is apparently an exec counter to Leviathan. I don't know if it has to be seven stars. But. It does exist. 
I imagine you would need to be at least seven stars for it to work. I haven't really looked into it and I don't know how reliable it is. Either way, if you don't have the time to climb during fleet battles, that can be, you know, that 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 might be the, the nail in the coffin. What I would say is that if your time availability is, is because, oh, I just can't climb at 7 p.m. because I'm busy making dinner, you can change the time of your fleet payout. You can change it twice a year for free or twice in total. I think it's twice a year for free. Um, so consider changing your fleet payout to a time that suits you when you've got loads of free time, if that's the case. If you just don't have free time, it's a bit hard. There's, there's nothing that's ever going to be like, yeah, I, I do one battle and get to top of the fleet arena unless you've got a dead fleet shard. And it sounds like you don't have that luxury. It's incredibly inconsistent. Thank you, Octo. It's good to know. But um, but if it, if it is just a case of there is a time slot in, in the day in which you could theoretically climb, you know, you can set a, set aside an hour to climb in fleet, then have a think about changing your, your payout time. Do note, though, when you change your payout time, it does change the time of all the energy refreshes and the store refreshes. So you have to take a look at that as well and think, oh, my God, my midday reset is now at three in the morning. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's but yeah. It's just things to consider and what's worth the payoff there. Okay. So definitely have a think about that. Now, you mentioned you don't have the scythe. Is that because you don't have the Inquisitors geared up? No, you've got the Inquisitors geared up. So it was a conquest thing, right? Are you, how far away are you from unlocking the, um, the scythe and the interceptor? You've got the interceptor already, which is huge. Okay, cool. I'm assuming you're getting the scythe through Proving Grounds. Because this is still an incredibly valuable counter with your Chimera to have in your back pocket. It's not just the Leviathan counter. It's also just a very, very useful counter against almost anything. Oh, you're you're close to unlocking Scythe then. How, is it 20 shards you get for Proving Grounds with no refreshes? So if you were doing like um, Conquest Pass Plus, you could have it in two, two, well, in a month, right? Two months. You don't have a big enough roster for the older Conquests? Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Yeah, so so you're not too far away. At most, you are three conquests away, or three proving grounds away, I should say, from unlocking Scythe. And that's going to give you some viability at climbing in fleet against Leviathan. It's going to be more reliable, I imagine, than the um, executor counter, because you've already got the rest of it set up. You've got an R5 Iden. You've already got Relic Inquisitors. So it's going to be absolutely fine as far as that side. It's just going to be the RNG that's involved. I th I'm pretty certain I've got a video guide of it on YouTube um, that goes over the exact Chimera counter. Um, so familiarize yourself with it if you haven't already, but I would highly, highly recommend that you start running that to climb in fleet. It's, uh, it, you know, if all you're facing is Leviathans in the teens, you should hopefully be able to climb through some of them, especially if they're not all seven stars. It'll be a hell of a lot easier. All right. So make sure that is a priority for you. Now, whether, like, Profundity is not going to make a difference in your fleet climb. It isn't. It will make a difference in GAC. I did notice you're already in Kyber 2. And honestly, three GLs and one GL capital ship and you're still hanging out in Kyber 2. That's that's good work, man. That's impressive, dude. You should be proud of yourself for that. You've got an R9 Reaver and R9 Darth Bane. So you do have other things within your roster that help give you that extra welly to start climbing. It's going to be approach. And for you, I think if you really wanted to climb in GAC, then you're going to have to be more offensively minded and that means taking risks on defense it means taking risks on defense you say you've got a lot of off mentor counters and that's true of basically the whole game right there's just a lot that exist so maybe your way of surviving is by placing all your gls on defense and using all your off metas but it's still a gamble because everybody else is most likely going to have a bigger roster i would say that your gac performance is plenty being in kyber 2 you're basically getting the best rewards you can. Like, Kyber 1 gives you 20 extra crystals per day and a couple more crystals. What is it? Um, 150 more crystals for a win. But Kyber 1 is so much harder than Kyber 2. It is, a, like, leaps and bounds harder. Almost everybody there has got 8 GLs and basically has all the toys. So it's like, the, I'm not saying that you can't reach there. I'm just saying, coming in at 7.5, you're just not going to be able to compete. 
You know, you'll get knocked down constantly. It'll be incredibly demoralizing. You can get there through constant investment. But if you want to get there, the like the long answer is have all the GLs and have all the capital ships. That's that's the very first stage. And that's going to be months away for you. And I'm try I'm not I don't want to sound make that sound like I'm demotivating you. I, what I'm should what I'm trying to say is you should be really proud of being hanging out in Kyber 2. You're getting basically the same rewards with, you know, half the GP, not half the GP, uh, two thirds of the GP. If you were to invest in somewhere, though, the focuses should be Jabber and Profundity. That should be your focus. <laughs> yeah, I know, shift down. I know it's unhelpful, but in the context of climbing better in GAC, that's kind of where you'd have to go. As far as priority order goes, I would say, you know, getting the profundity and jabber is your number one priority. Get those sorted out. Once you've got your scythe, obviously you want to max that out so you give yourself the chimera counter. That's going to give you an offensive off-meta counter to basically any fleet, which is great. Jabber is better than layer, definitely. You're kind of into it already. If you're close to unlocking layer, I'll never say swap a farm because all, it, all swapping farms do is like it's severely waste the investment so you've already got captain rex if you're very close if you're very close yeah it looks like you're very close yeah you must be pretty close definitely finish off your layer finish off your layer but after that after that i would say profundity jabber jml um and that will get you most of the way with your sith empire fleet it's very valuable obviously leviathan but you're a long ways off it. So I think you can afford to back burner that one and get all the other low hanging fruit around you first. Yeah, outcasts, outlaws, I was outlaws coming out relatively soon. Is there anything else? Shift down because we are out of time, but I'll, I'll happily take a question. That reinforcement reinforces what I was thinking. Appreciate the insights. No worries, shift down. Thanks for letting us look at your roster, dude. Kyber 2 to Kyber 1 must be the same gap Kyber 2 to Erodium 1? Probably. It Like, it's... Like, even the bottom end of Kyber 2 and the top end of Kyber 2 are very different places. Very different places in terms of competitiveness. I, and, and again, uh, it's, it's pronounced again within Kyber 1. I haven't even cl climbed that high in Kyber 1. Um, I Like, the most I've got is like... 3,800, I think, was my highest. And I think the highest at the top end of Kyber is 4,100 or something, 4,200. Um, even even within Kyber 1, there are like... There's, the difficulty curve is really steep. <laughs> it's really steep and pronounced. Yeah, we'll definitely be playing that on stream. Okay, cool. I'll wrap that one up. It looks like we've got an energy refresh. Let's pick that up before we go. So next up on our list is going to be Swagger Gameplay, was it? Oh, hang on. We can get rid of that one. What was it? Sorry, it was... Oh, the Collector. The Collector, which is Swagger... Dancing for Rain. Gotcha. Dancing for Rain. Dancing in the rain. Just dancing in the rain. What a wonderful feeling. I'm happy again. Don't mind me. Dancing in the rain. You are indeed here. Do I only do Ross reviews on Tuesdays? Usually, Amy. Sometimes we do them on Thursdays. It just depends on how burnt out I am. I work a full-time job. I go to the gym every day in the morning. And I do YouTube content creation and Twitch stream. Um, Sometimes I need a day off. Sometimes I need a day off. Because I stream Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, late, Sunday. So that's five days. Thrown in... Thursday, that's six days a week of streaming, as well as content creation and a full-time job. I get tired, <laughs> understandably so. So it's if I've got the energy, it's Tuesdays and Thursdays usually. Why do I work a full-time job if you also if I also stream? Because it, uh, it, streaming does not keep a roof over my head, unfortunately. I wish it did. I wish it did. I laugh at the clouds so dark above. The sun's in my heart, and I'm ready for love. Oh yeah. All I'm hearing is excuses. <laughs> You're not wrong. I am giving excuses. I am. But let us keep on going. Let us keep on going. So, the collector or, or dancing in the rain. Just finished requirements for profundity. Now looking either to Jabber or Inquisitors. 
since I've just unlocked the scythe, which should I go for? That's actually a really good question. My guild does not... My guild does not get any reaver shards. Got you. Farming for Captain Rex on the side and getting your Phoenix up to complement profundity. Would you recommend fleshing out some teams like Mandalorians or Dark Trooper Imperial Troopers before or get some Relic up on core teams? So I'll answer that last bit first. No. No is always going to be my response, and I know I am different to almost everybody here. There are a few exclusions to when you want to gear up other farms before you focus on the big hitters, right? And that's usually a case of if there's one character that completes and transforms a team and elevates it massively, I would say that character is like Zori Bliss, and you've already got Ray. One character that makes a massive impact, minimal investment, big return, those are the characters that you look. Oh, you you think for a minute. You go. Oh, I'll I'll just get this done. If that's not the case, it can wait until you've finished all of the big ticket items, all the most important stuff, all the stuff that keeps you in fleet arena at the top, all the stuff that keeps you viable in GAC, all the stuff that keeps you performing well in raids. Those are your priorities. The stuff that pays back to you. The core stuff is fun, and the argument I would say is, if it is a question of I can't stomach another GL farm. I need to do something fun for me. Then just do it. It's, it's a game, right? It's a game. You want to have fun. You want to have a good time doing it. So that's the exclusion to it. Otherwise, luxury farms can wait. Core teams, they can wait. They can wait. Your important things is getting your GLs and your capital ships. So you forgot to start the timer. Shit. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Uh, do you go to the gym at 4am? I go to bed at 7pm. No, God, no. I get to the gym for about 6.30, bull man. You're crazy. I was hoping... Uh, yeah, I, I, I only noticed afterwards, Wolfie. I only noticed afterwards, and by that time, I'd, I'd already started talking about it. So anyway, 8 million. 8 million GP. 8 million GP. Alrighty, so... Um, core teams... They can definitely, definitely wait. You've just finished up the requirements for Profundity, which is super, super important because Profundity is a very valuable capital ship. You've already got the likes of Executor at five stars, which is nice. That five stars gives you the reinforcement, so you don't necessarily need to super, super push for seven stars. It's nice. Profundity, don't worry about refreshing that event to get seven stars super quick. You don't need to be blowing 25,000, 26,000 crystals doing that. It'll operate relatively well at four stars. Now, when it comes to the rest, you were wondering whether you should focus on your Inquisitors because um, you're about to unlock the Scythe or to push for Jabba. That is a really, really good question. I guess, I guess my question to you is, is your fleet shard full of Leviathans, seven star Leviathans? That would be the first question. If you are unable to get to first because you are completely stonewalled out by a sea of Leviathans that are all, all seven stars, then I'd probably say go ahead and push for the Inquisitors. The fact that your guild is currently not farming Reaver Shards tells me... Get a new guild. Old Fleet Shards full of seven star levies. If they're all got like Relic 9 pilots, that still is a very, very difficult counter. There's no guarantees that the, um, the Empire counter works. It used to be pretty reliable, but lots of R9s make it a lot trickier to deal with. If I don't get close to eight hours of sleep, my hair grows fast. Yeah, I have that same problem, man. I have that same problem. I just sleep at 6 a.m. and don't go to the gym. <laughs> That's the way, buddy. That's the way. Um, so first bit is blocked out by Leviathans. Chimera counter can be a solution to you know, maybe a 70% win ratio, you know, winning three times out of five or something like that against Leviathans, provided they're not massively optimized at the wazoo. Uh, I didn't see your chat. Hi, Lord Vader. Um, oh, clicky neck, clicky neck. Um, the, the fact that your guild is not farming Reaver Shards and you are at 8 million, I have a feeling that you really do need to find yourself a better guild. I'm sure you could get into a better guild that is farming some Reaver Shards. You don't need to do that. You know, to... You, you don't you don't need to stay with the same guild. If you get your Inquisitors up, it's a lot of investment. 
Not even joking. It's a lot of investment to get these guys up to Relic 5 um, to unlock GI and then Relic 7 to get Reba and stuff like that. But at 8 million GP, I'm sure that if you do invest in your Inquisitors, they will take you on. They'll probably take you on at this point. You've still got four GLs. You've still got, you know, capital ships coming up and stuff like that. Is Exec good at four stars? Or do you, you can make it work at four stars. It's it's a lot better at five stars. I'm getting Reva Shards at 1.5 mil. Well, there you go. I wonder if it would be better to go for Leviathan myself instead of getting the Inquisitors up. So Leviathan is certainly an option. It just, I suppose it depends. Do you have the um, Conquest units? You've got Malgus. Do you also have the Conquest units? Um, I'm not seeing the Fury Class Interceptor here. How far away are you from Fury Class Interceptor? I mean, you can certainly just push straight to Leviathan. The problem with the Leviathan is... If everybody else has got it seven stars, you need it seven stars. Actually, I don't know if that's strictly true with the current off-meta counter. Fury class, you're, so you're 110 shards away. Hey, peace out, Valter. Muchas gracias, hombre. Hasta pronto. You're not too far away from the Fury class interceptor. The Leviathan, like, Leviathan mirrors are the most reliable counter to Leviathan. It's funny, really. It's funny, really. Because a lot of the previous counters have, like, of previous metas in recent times have not been mirror matches the solution. It's often been mirror matches horrendous. It's like pulling teeth. Because it's like, this is the comp that you use. Whoever's got the most relic levels wins. Fortunately, with the Leviathan, that's not true. Which is really great. Which is really nice. I do speak it, Lord Vader. <sighs> Since Inquisitors and Reaver are so far away, you think Jabber into Levy would be an alternative way. So Jabber into Levy is a really long path, right? I'm not sure how much investment you have in that Sith Empire. So you'd need to go R5 to R9, R5 to R9, R7. I'm trying to remember the rest of the requirements now for the Leviathan. I think it's like, no, Marauder, you've got all that up there. I think, yes. I think you are actually better off going... Like, it's really weird. It's really weird. You are probably better off going straight for Leviathan. Do you buy the Conquest Pass Plus to get yourself an extra round... An extra bite of the apple of the Proving Grounds? No hablo español. Solo un poquito, Amy. So far, you get into top 20 for Fleet Shard Payout. Yeah, yeah. It's just there's a big difference between top 20 and first for Crystal Payout. It's it's a massive, like, nothing can raise, really, as far as Crystal Rewards go. Master Eskin. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the tribe. Um, I do think it's worth you probably going Leviathan over the others. It's a strange situation to find yourself in, but I think that is actually the truth. Um, the good thing about the Leviathan is that using the triple attacker lineup... The attacker lineup where you're using the interceptor, you're using the fury class interceptor, and you are using the um, Sith fighter. You don't need to worry about having an R9 Sith fighter. You can climb with that regardless, just because of how the mechanics work. Um, and if it's a mirror match, you just swap it up and go for a standard lineup. So it's very easy to climb in in Fleet Arena if you mirror match, right? You just make sure you're taking in the right comp. So you'd have that on your side at the very least. Strict no, strictly free to play. That's fair. That's fair. It just means that you need 120. Was it 110 shards you still need for the Fury Class Interceptor? So I think you gain 20 shards per Proving Grounds. So that's six Proving Grounds, six months away. Six months away. You could probably farm Jabber and then be ready for Leviathan afterwards. You could probably do that. How far along are you on the Hut Cartel farm? If you've even started. Okay, not you've got the shards, but you don't have the gear. So the gear is the exp is the expensive part. Hey, peace out, Earth and Moon. Thanks for joining today, buddy. Should you go for Captain Rex and a Phoenix team? Even though um, Leggy, uh, Leggy, I I I'm gonna focus on this roster review right now because it's obviously a timed thing. So I don't I don't want to answer the questions, but I will I will get round to you afterwards. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think I think as far as timings go, 
As far as timings go, you should probably focus on Jabber and then switch over to Leviathan and have it time out nicely with when you actually finish off the Fury Class Interceptor. Um, that, that would definitely be the route that I'd recommend. It's funny, like you raised some very good points around Leviathan and, and Profundity and how to climb in Fleet Arena, right? You've got enough here as far as GLs are concerned to, you know, deal with a lot of um, what you'd see in GAC and stuff like that. Just want to see where you place in... Um... Yeah, you could probably climb to Kyber 2. You could probably climb to Kyber 2 with the right approach and the right investments. I definitely think your fleet game is probably what lets you down a little bit there. Um, because this is more than enough to be getting on with. You've got, you know, lots of offensive viabilities here. You can go, like, weak defense and just play efficiency on offense and climb in GAC. Get into, like, guarantee you, if you went really weak defense in GAC, not really weak, but if you saved all of your G GLs for offense in GAC and then set some annoying banner snipey teams on defense and, um, and just went pure efficiency, which means stuff like doing... Supreme Leader Kylo Solo, that sort of stuff, you'd probably climb very well into Kyber 2. It's the current meta, really, Danson. Um, it's the current meta in GAC is to be, in, until you get to that sort of really high end where everybody's rosters are massive and you can still be, effect, uh, still be effective um, and highly efficient in, in GAC with a heavy defense. Like, it's... I. I don't know, because I'm not familiar with how Kyber 3 plays, but I imagine there's not a boatload of Datacrons. I imagine not everybody sets um, incredibly strong defenses. So you've got to try and flex that and surprise people. Instead of having like a, you know, a 2020 score, you just rock up with a, like a 2070. And they they just, they've, they've, they've full cleared you, but they've full cleared you inefficiently and you just win by a landslide. Very few crons in Kyber 3. Thank you, buddy. Don't know if you actually farm your data crons yourself there, bud. Not really. Not really. Yeah, I mean, you got a Sidious cron. Take him for offense and use him to counter some... Use him against things you're going to know you're going to beat. <laughs> All right. Any last questions, Dancing, before we close it out? Um, and to answer your question, Leggy... Captain Rex massively elevates the Phoenix team, hugely elevates them, like far better than any Phoenix team that you can get. And the ideal team there is going to be like, so you go in with Hera and Kanan and Ezra and you throw in um, Captain Rex and Sabine as the ideal one. But um, if you don't have Sabine, then you'll use Ezra or you could use Zeb, but you want more offensive capabilities. Essentially, any Phoenix team is magnitudes better with Captain Rex. So if you can spare the film, it's worth doing. Good stuff, Danson. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. It's a cool roster, man. Okay. Anakin Necro, are you still in the chat, dude? We'll get you up as our final review of the day. Oh, hold up. Let's grab that energy refresh and we'll spend it on Cairo Farm farming because I just... I, I, I dread to think how many Cairo tech I wasted on <laughs> Valentine in chat just said maybe that's a sub goal hold up my guild chat is popping off because they've seen me on I know mega let me just uh... yeah sub goal <laughs> Oh dear me. Sub goals, sub goals. And no small, small, small thanks to Anakin over here. Okay, Anakin. So I think you actually did go through the, um, I think you actually did go through the channel as well, didn't you? So I should be able to grab your ally code from there. You said your next priorities are Leviathan Bow, Lair and Inquisitors. I'm praying to, praying for a C to be a lightspeed bundle. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay, okay. Let's see where you're at, buddy. Let's see where you're at. So Anakin Necro is 8.9 million in the Imperial Bakery Core. <laughs> the Imperial Bakery Core. Love to see it. Love to see it. We do like a bit of bakery here in the tribe. I am personally a fan of Tarte aux Fraises, um, which I haven't had in a long, long time. So you, your, your farming list was rather long, good sir. Your next, but if you're saying, is this in order of 
what you're unlocking first. You're going first for Leviathan, then you want to get Bow, then you want to get Leia, then you want to get the Inquisitors. You don't want to invest in C because you're hoping that a, a Lightspeed bundle comes out. Your next three tunes, I relic a Visa, Zori, and Captain Rex, and I'm 20 shards away from the Scythe, and I'm pretty much set with all Conquest characters. Okay, cool. That's good knowledge. Good knowledge. Okay, so 8.9 million. Oops. Accidentally hit my mouse against my keyboard there. And uh, went in and looked at Jabba's rather wonderful dad bod. So, we've got JML, we've got Jabba, we've got Slacker, JMK, and Ray. Good GLs to have. All good GLs to have. You've got my two favorite GLs. The two that I vote as the most important for any roster, which is great. I don't have to tell you to go ahead and farm Jabba, because you've already got him. I set my fleet battle to a perfect time for me, but I am a chef, so working over hours is normal, and due to that, I don't have a lot of time. Well, hats off to you. I've done a lot of chefs in my time. Crazy environments. Crazy environments. You uh, you guys have got a lot of metal. Um, and yes, I know how long you guys work. <laughs> Okay, so working on Leviathan right now, let's see what your current state of fleet is at. You've got the Profundity and you've got the Executor. You're in good standing, dude. You're, re look, you're coming in on 9 million. You're going to have all of the GL capital ships. You said you're about 20 shards or 30 shards away from the Scythe, which means that your Chimera counter is most likely going to be up and running, but you don't have Inquis, right? You've got them, but no, no gear. So you'll get the Scythe shards, but you won't be able to unlock because you don't have GI unlocked. I'm with you. I'm with you. Um, you say your next three tunes are spoken for. You're doing Visas, Zori, and Captain Rex. So you've got Ray, so it makes sense that you get Zori. The Visas, I assume you're doing for Unaligned Force users? We did go over this briefly, actually, earlier on in the stream. But Visas is kind of like... Visas is the ideal... I guess you could call her a fifth... For the uh, Starkiller team. But she's not actually... She's not actually that necessary. If you want to do her, that's an entirely different thing. She is definitely the best unaligned light side force user, in my opinion, at this point in time, to be throwing under a star killer team without sacrificing other teams. However, if you feel like you can get away with not using visas, you can, you know, throw in like a stick ray or something like that. Um, this also means that I don't have much time for this game. So efficiency is key. I'm happy when helpful people tell me how to do feats in GCC. Oh, oh I, hey, I, I, I try to do that for people. I try to do that for people. I mean, according to the comment section in most of my videos, I don't. Uh, apparently, I lie and um, I, I, I cheat or something or, you know, I'm full of crap. Or, but it's okay. <laughs> and who's that, I wonder? Indeed. Hey, Sirens, peace out, brother. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Excuse me. Um, if if you th you can, well, all I'm trying to say, long story short, is you can pass on visas. She is great to have, but she's not necessary. It's kind of almost a luxury. She is the best one to have, but you don't have to do it. If you want to have her in the team, it's good. It is good. Um, you said you were doing Zori, which I'm fully on board with. You've got Ray Zori in there with the Omega, Omicron. Sorry, not Omega, and the Zetas is definitely one to have. Um, Bo is another one that. For me, personally, Bo is fantastic, right? Bo is a really, really strong character. You don't need her. If you're already invested, crack on. If you're already invested, absolutely. But she's great and everything. But you like, you don't necessarily need to be investing all of that Kyra tech and all those relic levels to get Bo and get that Mandalorian team up and running. It's like... You know, you, you're missing quite like this is this is a lot of Kyra tech to get for a character that is very good. But probably by the time you get her, a data chrono is most likely going to disappear for a while unless you do throw a bunch of money at it. And I'm not saying she's not worthwhile. I'm just saying that maybe you could invest those resources elsewhere. Like your Inquisitors could probably take that gear in the interim and you could get that scythe up and running that much faster. But it's up to you. Is that I don't want to see my... It's you. <laughs> You're like, I ain't seeing that potato-headed woman inside of my star killer team. She does not belong there. That's fair. That's fair. I'm on board with it. Like, I I did my visas, and I don't regret it at all. And she's really fun in Conquest if you've got zealous ambitions. I think I mentioned that earlier as well. But she can do that life drain AoE and just, like, kill the entire board. It was really funny to see. Um, 
but yeah, like the the Bomando team, it's it's a bit of a big investment. It's a bit of a bit of a big investment for something that you don't have to do right now. You can. It has some benefits. Like Kelleran is fantastic for Jedi. Really good Omicron. Really good currently with the Datacron. Phenomenal. Paz Vizsla and Grogu only really, really work with Bomando, and currently she's being carried really heavily by a Datacron and all this sort of business. It's just that those are relic investments that can go elsewhere. That will help you develop out in areas other than bow. So something to consider. Would be going for Dark Side Mandalorians even be better than Bow Mandalorians? I mean, Dark Side Mandos are very, very strong, Octo. They're very, very strong. They're a little bit they're a little bit niche in what they can counter and stuff, but I mean they basically beat anything that's not a GL, which is really nice. They get wrecked by Sidious, but that's not Less investment, he already has an arse. Honestly, you don't even need full dark side. I mean, you can you can go full full dark side, um, uh, full dark side Mandalorians to take out certain GLs. If you're really hurting for counters, I guess, because it does also hurt a Lord Vader team, which you don't have Lord Vader. So I mean, dark side Mandos could be nice. Could be nice. I mean, just two teams. I like. I would almost, you know. Short invest it and just get these two up to like Relic 3 or Relic 5 and have a good time with it. Um, so let me go back and, and remind myself. You said you were going Levy, Bow, Leia. Levy, Bow, Leia and Inquisitors. Honestly, if you are that close to unlocking the Scythe, I would really would bring those Inquisitors further forward. Is your guild getting Reaver Shards? Is your guild getting Reaver Shards right now? Because the, the way I'm looking at this is once you've got your scythe and your inquisitors up and running, and by that time you will have your final capital ship up and running, your fleet game is going to be completed. We're getting 10 right now. You're sitting about 120. You can definitely jump to a bigger guild. If you, if you focus on inquisitors now and get them geared up straight away, you could probably step up to a bigger guild. And instead of getting 10, you could probably be getting like 10, uh, 20, 25, maybe even further, depending on the guild. And that would that would be a, a really big jump for you as far as rewards are concerned. And they would probably be doing better in raids and stuff like that, which is where a large share of the rewards go. How do you get on for um, speed of bike raid rewards? As uh, as far as guilds are concerned. Because have, having um, Reva ready Inquisitors will be a big selling point for you. Bo-Katan may well be a passion project. If it is, absolutely, crack on. Your raid is very bad. I think, Anakin Necro, you need to think about finding yourself a better guild. Because when people see, like, 9 million GP, this sort of development, finishing up on fleet shards, also ready for the Inquisitors, they're going to know that you're a, an account that's worth carrying in the short term so that you can contribute in the long term. Right? You're basically hamstringing yourself by st staying in the guild you are currently. That's that's the truth of things. And I know, like, I, I don't I don't want to have 49 angry people in your guild saying, ah, that damn scribe, he took away our top player. But um, don't get too attached to your guild, I guess. I, I You know, I've been in maybe five guilds or so in my nearly six years of playing. So, like, that averages out, I guess, at nearly one a year. But for the longest time, I was in one guild. And then I, I, you know, I grew, I eventually outgrew them after about four years. And then I went through three or four in the last year and a half or something, two years. I'm like missing a bit of R9 mats and R8 mats and 75% of single data done for Leviathan. Is is it the log ne logical next step? Um, what, getting Leviathan? The logical next step? Yes. Yeah, definitely. Like I, I for me, Finishing off your all the meta fleets, getting yourself the top defensive and offen offensive meta fleet in the Leviathan, he is actually now the king of the meta as far as fleet is concerned, is incredibly valuable. Incredibly valuable. Definitely get Leviathan first. Night Fox, you went to a really good guild. You went to a really good guild with some really cool people. And you replaced an absolute douche who left the guild, so... 
So yeah, I would definitely recommend, definitely do Leviathan. Layer for you is absolutely fine, truth be told, but I would love to see that Inquisitor farm brought forward. So you can you can finish off Leviathan right now, but honestly, if you bring forth Inquisitors, get them up, get GI, get them to Relic 7, you're going to finish off all the fleets in the game, really, all the ones that matter anyway. You're going to make yourself incredibly attractive to some very powerful guilds that are doing really well in Rote and really well in the speeder bike raid and will potentially be much better for you than your current guild. We're talking like the amount of additional R8 materials you'll be getting thanks to performing better in raids is is going to be so worth that swap. You just need just make sure that you are researching. You're figuring out, OK, this this guild is is getting the 665 box or whatever. Um, maybe by that time it might be, you know, the new raid or whatever. But that's what you should be conscious of when you're looking at moving guilds. I love my guild and I'm out of my league there. As in, you're you're much better than them, or they're much better than you, Amy. Either way is fine. Either way is fine. You think you go levy into Inquis? Yeah, I'm definitely. I definitely support that. Which has been your plan beforehand, and then they get over my GL burnout. GL burnout is a really real thing. It's a really real thing. I don't mind it now because I'm done. So if they release a new GL in six months' time, I'll be like, yeah, cool. I'll get a new GL because I have them all. And the same thing for the capital ship. I'm not worried at that, right? They're, they're much better. Well, that's a, that's that's the perfect place to be, Amy. That is the perfect place to be. Being carried by, by your guild is is where everybody wants to be. <laughs> that's where I like it. Uh, dear me. Yep, the clock has runneth out. Hath runneth out. Anakin. Any questions, my friend? What about Legendary Tomb for Burnout? Well, I'm done with the Journey Guide, so I have no Legendary Tomb Burnout. If, if, if somebody has it, absolutely. The only thing I recommend is find yourself a passion project and don't make it like, yeah, I want full on I need walks. Like, don't be that guy. Find yourself a team that you can take to like Relic 5. That's fun, that you want to do for you. And, you know, screw everything else and just do that. That's how I deal with Burnout. R9 Gunkins. <laughs> Someone out there? Someone in there has R9 Malgus? Hell yeah. You did that with Imperial Remnant? Good squad as well, Malkasil. Good squad. I bet that's paying you dividends in the current Datacron. So, yep. Yeah. I'm just waiting to see if... Uh, Anakin Necro over here has got a, a final request and uh, we will close it up. It's been an awesome stream today, guys. Awesome stream. My guildmate told us that he couldn't beat Remnants with C. Interesting. Does he not know how... Does he not have the alt or something? With the DC, they got a lot of holds in Kyber 2. Nice. They would. They would. Especially, if, like, if... The High relics and good Datacron and good modding on that team is a nightmare. It's an absolute nightmare. It's a very good team to have. Very, very good team. Well, well. And we made it to midnight, guys. Oh, my days. I'm going to be so tired in the morning. <sighs> Never mind. He had 10 million GP. He knows how to play the game. Just don't know how, how he lost. I don't know how he lost. I don't know how he lost. You'd think if he, maybe he took in a C solo, there is a lot of damage output in uh, in Imperial Remnants. If there's a, a really good Dark Trooper in there, it will clap faces and cheeks. Am I missing an R8? Sorry, I've just seen your question there. Am I missing an R8? That would be my last question. Are, are you missing an R8? Let's have a think. Like typically R8 characters are going to be those that deal damage. So tanks is like a tank you take to like an R9 or R7, right? You wouldn't really go in that middle ground. Looking at R8s, immediately I'd think Ray. Out of your GLs that you've got, Ray benefits the most. Gem K, yeah, he's good at R8. You don't need it. R8 Ray makes a big difference. You modder for offense. R8 is more offense, it's more health. It just, it results in better Ray, basically. So as far as GLs are concerned, you could say theoretically, yeah, 
R8 Ray would be a good investment for you. Let's have a, I'll have a quick flick through the roster here to see if anything, again, Malakos for the same reasoning. Attackers benefit from going to Relicate. So you've already got your Starkiller there. Malakos can. I think mine's still at R7, so you don't have to, but useful to have. Darth Bane is already done. Jedi Knight Luke, you can. I wouldn't really necessarily recommend it at this point. Malgus is worth it R9, to be honest. Mine's still at R7. Maul is another thing that can be R8, but you don't have Lord Vader and you don't have a full Dark Side Mandalorian team. So perhaps that's not a really priority for you. Cat again is one that can go up. She is an attacker, but honestly, I would say her value as an R8 has dropped off massively in recent months. Bam, another attacker. In particular, if you're going for Bo-Katan, he will be useful more when her Datacron disappears, but higher levels of Relic gives him more offense. That team is very based on true damage and his own whistling birds, so it also helps your fleet. Also benefits your fleet. Oh, my lights have turned off. It's definitely time for bed. Yeah, there's a couple. I would say out of all of these, though, your biggest priority should probably be getting that Ray to R8. She's still the most valuable defensive GL, in my opinion, and R8 enhances what makes her good. It's more stats, more offense, more health. That would be my number one suggestion. Potentially someone like Ben Solo, but I wouldn't place that before Ray necessarily. Yeah, you got a good roster, dude. You got a good roster. Hope you're well. I've just joined the stream and understand the Ross reviews are on some something different now. So yeah, I've got a form for people to fill out if they want to have Ross reviews. It worked really well today. I was really, really happy with it. But uh, we're just finishing up the stream. As you can see, it's all pitch dark in here because it's gone midnight. Um, but yeah, that's good stuff, Anakin. Anakin Necro, uh, thank you so much for being so incredibly kind and generous today. That's incredible of you, dude. Thank you so much. All right, guys, I am going to... Perfect. Now I just need to find a new guild. Join the guild Discord server. There's um, there's a hunting for guild Discord server. I, I'm no longer in it, but you should be able to find it on Reddit or on the Facebook uh, um, search page. Put, put in, putting your deets up there, just say, hey, this is my roster. I'm looking for a, a new guild to move to. Find yourself the best, the biggest, best performing guild that will take you and join it. I did R9 Omega. It has been done. How many is it to R9 Jar Jar? Unfortunately, Jar Jar wasn't voted as the R9 sub goal. Unfortunately, Merin is the next sub goal. But hey, drop 600 subs and I'll R9 Jar Jar. Jar Jar. <laughs> There we go. Cool. All right. I'm going to see if we've got anybody f available for us to raid into, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for joining me today. I think that this new format is so much better than what we have been doing in the past. Very, very much enjoy it. And uh, it's probably what we can look forward to doing Tuesdays and Thursdays going forward. I will let people know through my Discord if I will be streaming on the Thursday because I'm not always going to have the energy for it. Make sure you do join in tomorrow, though. Tomorrow is GAC. Back in it. We're going to go live as soon as the attack phase goes live, and we're going to kick some ass and take some names. Hopefully, we'll probably get our asses kicked. I don't see anybody from the Galaxy of Heroes community live right now. Is that absolutely true? Is that 100% true? I don't see anybody from Galaxy of Heroes live right now. Thank you, Danson. Thank you, buddy. No star. Rebel RX is live? I must not be following him. Let's uh let's let's send people over. That sucks. I will send people over to Rebel RX. I could have sworn I was following him. People over to Rebel RX. I could have sworn I was following. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Totally, totally meant to do that. Totally meant to do that. All right, let's go over to Rebel RX, and I will see you all manana. Manana, peace out guys and big love.